Welcome, everybody, to episode 72 of the ADV podcast. We made it, finally. Yeah. Uh, we've got a jam-packed episode for you today. A lot of good, funny stuff this time around. Yeah. Um, and some important things to talk about, too. Of course. Wouldn't be ADV podcast without the importance of everything. Correct. Let me adjust my microphone for a second, and we're going to saunter right into it with our What's New segment. Here's where we talk about what's new with regards to China and other stuff. Yeah. So... Uh I, okay, let's 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 let everyone build up here. I noticed that our viewers are just coming in now. I want to build a little hype. Okay. Somebody released a new track. Oh yeah. And let the chat guess for a second. Who do you think released a new track, a new song? I'll yeah. take a take a wild guess. Come on, guys, let's see it in the comments. You know, one of our favorites. It's none other than mm -hmm. maybe drop a sound bite and give him a hint. <laughs> Cardi C. Cardi C just dropped a new track. We are so pumped uh, to be maybe one of the most exclusive drops of this track. She also she dropped it on her own channel, of course. Yeah, yeah. At this point, when it popped up, it's weird. It's kind of like it was just a big joke. We make fun of CCP rap, right? Right. But now when it came up in my feed, my heart like jumped and I got so excited. So excited. I'm yeah. like such a fan now. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, just uh, for all you noobs out there that don't know what cotton is, yeah. we'll put a little uh, blip of cotton and it will actually explain quickly. Yeah. Uh, Cardi C, uh, she actually put out a song talking about how there's no forced labor in Xinjiang. Right? Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have brought it up otherwise. No, no, no. So there's allegations that Uyghurs, Uyghur Muslim people in Western China are forced to pick cotton. Yep. Um, and she, on behalf of the CCP, was very mad at these allegations and put out a rap song, which actually turned out to be a copy of, a, of a, another, like actually a Chinese, Uyghur, a Uyghur rapper. Uyghur, the phone rap of China, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But anyway, yeah. she put out a song called Cotton. So what's called use, use them, their own like stuff against them type thing. It's quite literally. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, let's have a quick look for everyone. Let's give you a little bit of a refresh about what Cotton is all about, and then we'll get into the new song, which is actually very, very, very good. Yeah. Fair use, fair use, fair use. Entity list. We got the bounce. Yeah, you got it. Welcome to my space. Well, come on. Yeah. I wanted to. I did. I wanted to make this fair use. Yeah. Because I know they're getting bigger. You know, mm -hmm. just got to be careful here with the copyright. Yeah. Um, here's Tom. Just a little nostalgia for you guys. You guys remember Tom? Mm -hmm. That was back in the day. Yeah. Back in the day, I don't, I don't know if you guys... Did you guys use MySpace in South sure, Africa? Sure, Okay, so back in the day, if you wanted to diss someone in high school, you would say like, oh, you're such a loser, you don't even have, you don't even have friends. Your only friend is Tom. Right. Because everyone's yeah. default friends with Tom. Right. I see dry and such a made This work was good. People always go farting. It's a job's great. And the fact money yeah. made. Hey. You were fine. Now I know I shouldn't hear how people hate. Hey. Okay, so... Yeah. You guys all remember that. Sorry, I'm just turning on the AC. I don't know. Every time we start the show, the AC turns off. It's like by magic. Why? Yeah. So a little uh, background here. When we did our Chinese uh, CCP com communist raps episode, yeah. we found that, um, we found that uh, a lot of them are straight up. They were made for CCTV, which is China's biggest news network, sure. and CGTN. Mm-hmm. Actually, we found out there was another new one, straight up state sponsored, pimped about, out by Zhao Li Jian. It's about state, the Fort Detrick. About Fort Detrick lab leak. Yeah, that's that's another. But There'll we'll be next save time, we'll yeah. save that rap for next week. We figured you guys would care more about Cardi C. Yeah, um, so more entertaining. What I will say, I'll preface, is that Cardi C has very dubious party ties. They're not as strong as some of the other ones. Sure. It's almost like she's trying to break into the communist rap scene. Well, I mean, she was used in that for, what is fourteenth five year plan. Video. Well, yeah, yeah, because she, she works for CGTN. Yeah, she, she is work. a she is a journalist for CGTN. Sure. Um, now the point being is that she's trying to break into like past that. She wants to go past that sort sure. of sort of thing. So this rap is about the founding of the Communist Party, but they try to dress it up a little more. It's not all the way on the nose. Yeah. And they got three people. Okay, yeah. let me just set this up. They got Cardi C. Yep. 
which you are going to be blown away with her lyrical masterpiece. The lyrics are amazing. It's <laughs> incredible. Don't it worry, means a lot. It's in English. It's in English. Mm -hmm. And then the first guy um, is a is a African. Is, I think he's African, maybe African American guy. Maybe but African he's, African. Also. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he's he's actually quite good. Yeah. So. Uh, we'll skip past a lot of his stuff, but he sets it up perfectly when he talks about what year the Communist Party was founded. Yeah. But then the last guy, we were like thrown for a loop. Yeah. No idea who this guy is, but in, absolute genius. Yeah, genius, genius. Okay. So you guys ready for this? Yes. Okay, so we're going to We will have to pause it a we'll, little we'll bit. We'll pause it here and there. We'll pause it here and yeah. there, but we're just going to hit it. Okay, let's do this. We'll get ourselves out of the picture. Young souls. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, I just gotta say that that's some serious auto tune. Well, it's the definition of that auto tune. Is like just, yeah. It is only it's auto tune. Only... There's actually no voice. It's actually probably her going. Uh, and then they use auto tune Just to fill to in the words. blanks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's okay, let's continue. I got okay. Pause it there. That part's kind of sick. What? That part's kind of sick. Go back to that for a second. Wait, the part where like species compete to survive. No, no. Because wait, got the, my homies all by my side. All kind of species compete for freedom. So and, yeah, these lyrics are absolutely. I just gotta ask you, what kind of like species are we talking about? Like the red. Throated thrust or some, whatever. Yeah, the red throated thrust definitely competes with the the spearheaded chickadee. Yeah, for freedom. For freedom. Yes, yeah. not free enough. Okay. Okay, that's that's easy enough. To this understand. is this. I like that. I like this flow. This just this part. Got my homies all by my side. And it says, "Wah shine you lie chang beside." So it's like uh, I just like how they played off the the yeah. languages. That part's cool, but then. So you think that a guy on the right, the Chinese guys, actually might be quite good just yeah. because of that part. Sure. But then the next part that he comes in, it's the most jumbled mess you've ever heard. It, well, let's let's, let's, let's see what happens. When people are constantly impressed. Full of enthusiasm and energy. This is such... It's already so... <laughs> <laughs> You put that in there, didn't you? <laughs> no way! <laughs> we what swam in the middle of the river. It's I definitely did the not. The floundering corpse. Okay, let's continue on. <laughs> Wait, the the, the waves that had sparked had, could block ships. Okay, and then every dog had its day. Yeah. I mean, I think it's supposed to be every, like in English we have a saying. Every dog has its day. Yeah. But this one is every dog had its day. So it's that means not day. anymore. They're not anymore. Done. There, it's done. No all more no more done. days for your you dogs to have, I'm oh, afraid. Shit. Yeah. Sorry, dogs. Okay, let's get back. Listen that. Yeah. That's the problem, is that if he said yeah. remember the, the one about the rain in this in the yeah. mountains? Yeah. That was awesome. But then listen, go back two seconds and listen to how he tries to fit these words in. Okay. I mean, you're the lyricist. Let's just, you'll, you'll, you'll pick up on it. Okay. This guy's great. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'll it's eventually like, show you what I'm capable of. Okay. I stand in a land with no worries. Stand in a land with no worries, but a couple years ago it wasn't like this. A war zone without peace or some bliss. Still had the mentality to break free. 1921 was a year. Yeah. Life for the people wasn't fair. Hell by. Okay, so so we didn't know it was communist until that line came. Because 1921 is the founding of the Communist Party of China. So of course this is now a propaganda rap about how communism changed China for the better. And if you listen to the lyrics, that's what they're trying to say. They're trying to say it was the Communist Party that made China so freaking amazing. So well, okay, let me say something. Sure. The ironic part is this guy, this foreigner guy, yeah, right? Yeah. The not Chinese guy. He's lyrics i'm not saying i agree with them but they make sense mm. it's all about how the communist party and the founding made china actually more free than it was okay yeah i wildly disagree with that I but i think we all do but it makes sense sure. it's cohesive when cardi c comes in in about two seconds it has nothing to do with the rap well let's find out what she has to say I rub to a chair, still that prevail all other people excel i like plain chefs get my issue to address Lily. wait 
I like playing chess. Got my what issues to address. Oh, I like playing. I like playing chess. Got my issues. To let's address. play. Let's play her out. And we'll go back. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah. Lately, eating so less. Eating so less, it can no one to impress. Got your ex and mess him in your home address. You're not my interest in you, but all things are obsessed. True stories in the cage, that's what I live in, it's in the rage. You do wait, have a say, just set the gauge, make a way for a brand new age. Yeah, little cool, little time, be real nice. I gotta say, I don't wanna leave my life. Find love, you dream, no fear, or worry. Give me head up, work hard, nothing, you to hurry. What's wrong with a friendly help? What makes you laugh, fell up? Oh, I see you wanna see me fail, but not. Listen to me, loving crowd. Finishing a love, do it, I will never give it up. Hooked up, hooked down. I don't want to have the feeling. Can't do much about it, I'm not ending. I know true friends are hard to find, but I see nice souls still entwined. Forever and ever, I will remember the laughter we had once upon a time. Okay, okay. hold on. Go, let's, let's scroll through her lyrics real okay, quick. Okay, we'll just go through it very quickly. Okay, now the thing. That we, have to, we have to savor this. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a couple of interesting words. Someone things. wrote words. Yeah, words, yes. <laughs> That's all it is. Yeah. Cardi, so, I like playing chess. I like playing chess. Okay, let's go through this. I like playing chess. Got my issues to address. Lately eating so less. You got no so one to impress. She's yeah, saying she's no losing weight. She's basically, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight, even though she's already very thin. She's too, she should stop eating less. Yeah, but she's got no one to impress. So she's eating less, but yet she has no one to impress. Okay. So she's doing it for herself, I guess. I think we're trying to find meaning where there is none. Well, let's do it. Okay. Got your SMS. <laughs> Send me new home address. We can try and dox us? Yeah. Cardi, what does that mean? Yeah. What does that actually mean? Yeah. Home address, you know uh, yet I'm not interested in you. It sounds like a lot of projection to me. Like there's this mystical enemy she's created. Mm. And the, you know how I remember the last one, she's like, I'm not going to respond to hate or whatever. Sure. She's, it's like a boogeyman. Yeah. But those things I obsess. Got nothing to... What? Okay, never mind. And what's next then? True stories in the cage. True stories in the cage. In the cage this, world. this world I live in is in, in a, a rage. rage. Okay. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Sounds kind of familiar. It does. Just the other way around. I live in this in the rage. You do we... Do we have a sage? We are make we're giving way too much meaning to this. Aren't we? No, we are. Set a gauge, make make a way for a brand new age. Cool, little kind, be real. Little cool, little kind, nice. be real nice. I got say, I got I, I got the say how I want to live my life. I got this. It makes me actually double over a little bit. But hey, but listen, find love, build dreams, no fear or worry. No fear or worry. Keep my head up. Keep my head down. Work, work hard. Huh? Nothing, you to hurry. What's Nothing need a hurry. Okay. You're reading what she says. This is in English. Yeah, I know. But it's like, what's wrong with a friendly hail, she says. When she says, says hail, I think... What's wrong with a friendly hail? What does that even mean? Obviously, like, hail. Like, like you, hail Hi. you hail a taxi, right? Hail. Yeah, but the way Good that... Good sir. She, but I think the way she's saying it sounds... Well, listen, it's like nothing wrong with a friendly hail. Nothing need a hurry. What's wrong with a friendly hail? What? Hail. 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 I guess it's supposed to be hail. Uh, anyway, yeah, you get the point. We've got to get on to the masterpiece of this, though, because Cardi C... I mean, she... It's a little great. bit of A little bit of a word salad, but, you know, yeah, she's a little, trying. Yeah. A little bit. We are... Cardi, if you're watching, we're huge fans. Yeah, absolutely. We obviously we, love We want you to succeed. Stuff. We hope you can break out of this typecast CCP propaganda. Yeah, because if you get more eyes on your stuff, maybe you can do stuff that's not related to the state. Because yeah, Because, obviously, break out. it's just a try Break out, yeah. you know, become... Join the... Like, I don't know, a rap group in yeah. Taiwan or something, or yeah. in, in the US. Oh, I see you wanna see me fail, but not listen to me loving crap. Oh. Hit them, hit them. Out for missing a love, do it, I will never give it up. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It sounds okay. We're holding on. I don't wanna have the feeling. Can't yeah. much about it, I'm not ending. Mm -hmm. I know true friends are hard to find, but I see nice souls do entwine. Forever and ever, mm -hmm. I will remember the laughter we had once upon a time. <laughs> Could be like an ex-boyfriend or something. Now this guy, you gotta brace yourself. Okay, for this we're guy. just gonna have to play this out. I looked this guy up, but couldn't find anything about him. Okay, now this is the best part. Okay, let's let's just watch because this guy knows how to rap. Living in the jungle world, I don't need to fast. Make some foreign friends, fight them Chinese souvenirs. <laughs> it's okay to be a developing can, cause I know I have a developed man. No true friends are hard to fend, but I wanna build a home for all mankind. Call me the sick man of Asia. I think the world is sick. Twist 
hustling story so dazzling but does it make you great i know this is hard turns out bar yet i still hand out with this car in white you hand out in my yard yeah, so yeah okay we'll hang out in his yard i gotta say i love his pronunciation of yeah certain words because it sure. leaves you guessing it does you don't really know what he's talking about right which is good it's, his it's, chinese part was it. fine yeah yeah yeah, you know, um, you can kind of interpret. It it's like an interpretive this. dance. You know, you don't really know what they're trying to do. That was more more Cardi C's lyrics were like, "What the hell is she talking about?" His are like, <laughs> "Oh my very... god, it's fifty yen." <laughs> it's fifty yuan. Yeah, yeah it's, 50 yuan. someone would say fifty yen. But fifty it's yuan. More like fifty fin. Fifty you know? yuan would be worth way more than yeah, fifty cents. So this fin. guy's this yeah. guy's the master. Yeah, he's fifty cents. <laughs> you know, Wu Mao. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Anyway, like. Um, we're not finished yet. Women get no beast to ten stop by the shame. Can Hold you up, pause it. I, I actually heard a rumor that he shouts us out in this video. Oh, he does. I does. guess it's, maybe it's because, you know, he just wants to bring a little more attention to us. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Shout out to all the names. Check it out. <laughs> Did you oh. see that? Yeah, shout out to all the names. You added that That's that sick. Joke, didn't you? No way. Yeah. Look at this. You know, shout out to all the names. He's even pointing us out. There, what do we got? We got Lao 86. We got Serpent ZA, ADV China, and the podcast. Oh, wow, that's cool. Isn't that cool? One thing I've got to say is this, this guy's the, the only thing that rivals his lyrics is his art. Yeah, don't okay. worry. I. I uh... <laughs> What the? This what? the art progressively gets worse throughout the video. By the way, I put two examples. Okay, all right. So let's see. Okay, there's his art right there. Um, I got, I'm quite. Watch confused. what he does. Watch the brushstroke. <laughs> He's just like doing random. What is <laughs> this that? Is what it turns into. This is what happens when I, a child finger paints. I legit have no it's idea. not. I mean, dude, is this supposed to be something fancy? Because you know, there's. there's Somebody there's, said it's a QR code. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look. At the end of the day, let's go, go back. Go there's, back. there's no coming back. When it's, you know, you know, when you're drawing something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Even as a kid, you get to a certain point where you just can't bring it back. It's literally mm. just like a mess of black. Yeah. So you can't like put a new edge on it or define. That's right. the epitome of take it down, crumble it up, and throw it in the trash. <laughs> Don't be mean. This is beautiful art. Okay. This is. <laughs> just, you know what this is? Yeah. Uh, is okay. It? For for. Put it put it on a scene where we can see all of them. Okay, I'll get them all. I want to I want to show you because I'll be able to explain all this. We live in China for ten plus years. Just just one just one thing one sure. one thing just one more time for a few seconds. I don't need to fast. Make some fast. foreign friends. Fight them Chinese to a nerves. It's okay to be a developing king. Cause I know I have a developed man. <laughs> he has a developed man. No, I mean, look, at the end of the day... We don't I, make fun I, of people's I, accents. I, I'm not making... Well, come on. Okay, if I... If they make fun of my Chinese accent, I just got to say, mm -hmm. you're a rap artist, you're singing in English, you should probably get that right. Yeah, sure. Just so that people can understand sure. you. But I, I like I like his Chinese rapping is awesome. I mean, here's the thing, though. Um, I like what the lyrics are trying to say, because I think what he's trying to say is like, yeah, China's a developing country, but, you know, we're, we're developed... As far as you know, like we're thought. all there, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't mean that we're uh, not I agree. developed, you know. And when he said, "I think the world is sick," yeah, there's yeah. good messages there. Yeah. Now, it did go to everyone. Though. I want to point out everything. Okay. Cardi, Cardi's lyrics need the most work in terms of like what actually they actually making mean, sense. what they actually mean, right? right. Okay, yeah, guy yeah. in the left, talented guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, obviously in China trying to make uh, make his name, maybe through the CGTN campaign. One mm -hmm. of those, there's money flying everywhere from every direction at anybody that's willing to talk about China in China. Right. Positively right. about the government. Cardi C is a great example of a very, very wealthy girl. Uh, we call it a Fuar Dai. Mm -hmm. And that's somebody who is a second generation rich, meaning her parents got money. And we know this because she goes out to clubs and drops like $10,000 sure. every time. But anyway, nothing against that. Mm -hmm. But that is, this is a perfect example of someone that has money that thinks they can get into something like a creative field without having those necessary skills. And you'll see, you back me up on this. Mm -hmm. In China, a lot of rich people try to get into stuff that they don't have a talent for. Yeah. So you'll often see. But they will, see, they'll be applauded along the way. Nobody will ever tell them say. that they're bad at something. You'll see some massively influentially rich dude get on stage for a performance or Look something. Look at Jack Ma. That's a great example, yeah. but you can even see it locally. Yeah. Like yeah. where I used to live. You'll have some massive multimillionaire that everyone's like, oh, he's so talented and amazing. And he's just completely terrible at mm. 
everything he does, whether it's singing or p pretending to play guitar or something sure. like this. You know that, right? Yeah. I suspect the guy on the on the right is a similar scenario. Probably. Um, because I looked him up, he's not, I don't think he's an established artist or anything no. like this. Again, people tr with money trying to break into it, the guy on the left actually has talent. Sure. Um, but anyway, what I wanted to cap this off with is mm -hmm. that um, Cardi C started as a joke. Yeah. And we focus on her because she keeps putting out content. Mm -hmm. And I gotta be honest with you, like I'm starting to fall in love with her creative enterprise and just watching <laughs> it. I'm not even being sarcastic. Okay, okay. I'm falling in love yeah. with watching her grow with this and it's kind of fun and I'm glad that you know, we could have been a part of it. And thanks for the shout out, by the way. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. Okay, fantastic. So now we're going to move on to something else, which is hilarious. Okay, we got to show you this. Oh, yes. Um, we have over here Discover Xinjiang, which is China state affiliated media. Look at their, look at the art. Can you look at the art first? Yeah. Tell me that's not straight out of another tourism board. You know, it is, like, it is. Go see the camps. But now um, I'm going to read it to you. Yeah. This is a tweet that they put out on their official account. Remember, Discover Xinjiang says, <clears throat> Located in hashtag Xinjiang, Kansas National <laughs> Nature Reserve is known for its unspoilt nature, natural ecosystem, and amounts, sorry, accounts for the only Euro Siberian flora and fauna to be found in China. The word can canas <laughs> means beautiful and mysterious in Mongolian, and the place certainly lives up to its name. So what's going on here, do you think? Well, they're obviously trying to start a Xinjiang tourism campaign, and it's literally only made to deflect away from the concentration camps. Of course, we know that. But they did uh, mis misspell can Kanas, and yeah. they wrote Kansas instead, and I yeah. just loved the uh, Yeah, the comment the comments there. is like, lol, imagine spending all this budget to accidentally promote a U.S. state. So they actually, you know, they put out a good advertisement for Kansas, mm -hmm. and I yeah. love that the Chinese authoritarian government's budget mm -hmm. threw millions of dollars into this to promote Kansas. So without further ado... Yeah. Let's promote Kansas yeah. from the Xinjiang Tourism Board. You gotta know, this all tourism stuff is ridiculous. Let's... In Kansas, you will see stars. And not just the kind that line a boulevard. Ooh, throwing shade at Hollywood over there. Ooh. It's like... Who are the real stars of Kansas? My, my guess is the farmers. Yeah. 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 It's not our nature to celebrate ourselves. You can leave us in. We celebrate oh. real luminaries. Oh, it's media uh, air heart, air heart, yeah. Those that light up our night sky and those who brighten. Xinjiang is so our landscapes. Central government is so nice to do this. <laughs> In Kansas, yeah. we love fast cars and slow cooked brisket. <laughs> this is really starting to be very stereotypical. <laughs> You think of like, you know... I, I was trying to take this seriously, but I can't. No offense to Kansas, it's you know, just the tourism board. It's just here. like, a, what do you do there? Oh, we eat barbecue in NASCAR. It's really just, you know, I feel like they're shooting themselves in the foot. Well, let's see if they get any better. Okay, let's see. All right. There will definitely won't be any more tropes. Yeah, right. no more tropes? No, I, I don't okay. think so. All right, let's see. We touch the sky, but stay grounded in the things that matter most. Well, except for that one. This crap where it's like if you want to go high you go low what does that if mean if you want to go left Circular you go right reason. you touch the sky but we're grounded but we stay grounded come on yeah. guys like yeah. a little bit more creative we live out loud and embrace the solace of silence okay. we conquer Circular rock reasoning. <laughs> wait 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 Circular reasoning. sorry i wasn't paying attention i can't miss a single beat of this it's so okay. enthralling Especially well, as a since foreigner. Xinjiang Tourism Board has I'm done a, a great I'm job. I'm a foreigner and I enjoy True. to see like True. this natural land of America. Let's see. Let's see. Silence. We conquer rocks and celebrate on the rocks. <laughs> 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 this is actually the Kansas Tourism Board. Bro. <laughs> we conquer rocks and celebrate on the rocks. Oh Those of you uh, listening at home. Dude, like, America's got mad cringe too. Yeah, uh, Holy they've, they've shit! They've got like a family climbing like a hiking on these like beautiful rocky outcrops yeah. or something. It's like we conquer rocks, and then it shows a whiskey glass. Oh, it's for with the listeners, ice, yeah. And they're like, and we celebrate on the rocks. Oh my okay, god! Okay, well, what's going on here? We ride like the wind and live for the water. What? Did Kansas even have water? I drove through Kansas and I almost died because I got tunnel vision. 
Because of the cornfields, you know, the straight roads. Look, I'm sure there's beautiful no, stuff. No, of course there is. But yeah. the majority of what I saw was cornfields. They're making a big deal about this lake. There's probably some big lakes in Kansas, right? I guess. Let me look yeah, up. Yeah, look up on a map. Let's see. I don't think so. The Kansas experience is a salute to the real. No, to the rabbit. Big. <laughs> they're, okay. not, they're not very big. Oh, well, they got 15 best they have lakes. lakes yeah, yeah. They do have lakes. What's going on next? To the wide-eyed wanderers. To the dreamers. To the stars. Hmm. Xinjiang yeah. Travel, Kansas. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm props to them for, like, because honestly, that's uh, with this tension between the U.S. and China right now. Yeah. There's a really good olive branch that they extended <laughs> to promote Kansas like that. Because we're running out of money here sure. while they're so wealthy, you know, yeah. sitting on all those reserves. I, so thank I you mean, to Xinjiang that, that Travel. Was, that was very educational for me as yeah. well. Um, you know, yeah, I like the car part. You know, I love that junk. I like the whiskey, uh, the whiskey trope. That I mean, was... that's my favorite out of that. But yeah, anyway. That's a, <laughs> honestly, we should. I hope China promotes more mm -hmm. um, prop or not propaganda tourism stuff from yeah. different states in America, so we can enjoy more. Because mm. Kansas is uh, as much as I think Kansas is probably amazing. And I've been there multiple times. I think they had to go to every little corner of that state to get that footage. I, I noticed they showed like <laughs> shots of like their one museum they probably had yeah. there like over and over. It's like this one museum. Yeah. Hey, it is hey, what it is. It is what it is. And they do have fast cars, I'm sure. I'm definitely, Kansas is on my list of places to go. Oh, you haven't been? I, I probably drove through it during my road trip, but I can't remember. I feel like you went to Kansas City. No, I didn't. You didn't? I went to like okay. Albuquerque and stuff. But you went through Missouri. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Kansas I can look City it up. Kansas City is in Missouri, okay. ironically. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway, <clears throat> we guys, I know we're just joking around a lot in this. We have to be a little uh, jokey every once in a while. We do have a, you know, a more serious topic coming along, but let's just... You don't just... have to make excuses for making jokes. No, but People I'm just... People enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to get into something which um, is all about cheese. So let's move uh, move on to some of these these nice little things that came up. What happened on our subreddit? So the the poll finished, and basically, there's if you guys weren't here last time, I made a claim that Swiss cheese is is bland. Yes, I didn't say it tastes bad, but Winston took it as me saying that I let's, hate Swiss let's cheese. Let's look up the definition of bland, shall we? Sure. Okay, so let's see. Bland. <clears throat> Adjective, lacking strong features or characteristics, and therefore uninteresting. Um, that's as an adjective. But when you're talking about food or drink, mild or insipid. Mild. Correct. And I like, I love the, the example they gave here. Bland and unadventurous vegetarian dish. That sounds about right. It sounds like Swiss cheese to me. Bland and unadventurous. Again, you're licking the holes. That's what you're doing. You're like eating the holes. We're so, going to see. So, long yeah. story short, yeah. um, some good memes came out of this. Yeah. Uh, which was sea milk cheese for tasteless buds saying yes. that we are tasteless. And actually, the conversation turned into the people criticizing me and you for not knowing cheese. Yeah. Which we have to join forces here and tell... Tell people, we know what cheese is. All right, guys. <laughs> the boys will be divided on this one. <laughs> Craft single Swiss. <laughs> so there is yeah. this stupid, stupid stereotype that if you're not from Europe, then you won't understand cheese. So Winston doesn't understand cheese because he's from South Africa. And I don't understand cheese because I'm from America. We don't eat Kraft singles all the time, no, guys. No, we don't. We have every right. access to every cheese. So what we've decided is we've got a treat for all you guys. We've got a cheese taste test over here. As you can see, we each have a little cheese plate, which is not coming out very well on the camera for some Reason, but. And we are going to rank them in order of blandness. And we decided we are going to be honest. Yeah, we're going to be. Well, we're going to be honest. Sorry. We're going to be. On, I was going to shake. Oh, shake shake on it. Yeah, we're going to be honest while, while we rate these. And we're going to start. And I, I have. Um, I have them in order here. So I got cheese. We got cheese that is all across the board. Right. Like random. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see which ones we consider bland and which ones we consider flavorful. So where we're do we start? Start with mozzarella, which is right here. This one. Okay. Yes. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Mm. Great cheese. It's salty. It tastes like milk. The fact that it's salty means it's not bland already. No, it's kind of bland. Okay, well, let, uh, what's next? Okay, next is cheddar. I oh. would say mozzarella is fairly bland. Oh uh, Yeah, okay, but it's salty. Cheddar's not bland. Mm -mm. Very sharp. Got a lot of flavor to it. Yeah. Much cool. harder as well. What's This is that American junk. This is Colby Jack. Yeah, oh. All right. Mm. Also very flavorful. Yeah, it's got it's got flavor. 
About the same as cheddar. We're very sophisticated when it comes in. I'm pretty sure there's these cheese connoisseurs. Whatever. Oh, you got to talk about the creaminess and the... Next is paneer, which you brought. Paneer, yes. What is it, like an Indian cheese? No, that's bland. That's bland. That's the blandest cheese so it's far. It literally says cooking cheese on Indian it. Indian cooking. I'll show you the label. There we go. Paneer. Indian style cooking cheese. That just tastes like milk. No, it doesn't even taste like milk. Yeah, that, it doesn't even taste like milk. Milk's got more flavor than that. Okay, next we have feta. Feta cheese, which of course, we all know it's very salty. That's the most flavorful thus far. Mm. Wow, that's strong. Now we get to taste the Swiss cheese. Now we have the Swiss. Mm. This is the one in contention. It's great. It's got a tanginess to it. It's got, it's like a full rounded taste. It's really good. It's not bland at all. Okay, we're gonna come back to that. We have the Havarti next. Okay. Havarti, right. Mm. That's a good creamy. cheese. Creamy. Mm. I like it a lot, it's creamy. That's a good cheese. Dude, this Swiss cheese is awesome. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Okay, now, if you were to rank them in blandness, mm -hmm. what would you put first? The paneer. Paneer is definitely the most bland. Mm. What's the second? Um, Probably the mozzarella. We don't need to do this process crap. No, no, no. Mozzarella, I guess. You're doing number two for mozzarella? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll agree with you on there. Number three? For me, it would probably be the um, Havati or whatever it's called. This Havati most, is next yeah. for you. Right? Okay. What do you think is the next I'm going to say, I'm going to put Swiss at number three. Really? And it's then bizarre. Havarti. And then I'm going to put Colby and then I'll put Cheddar and then I'm going to put Feta. Yeah, I think that's about right. I think you just screwed up a few things there. Okay, so what I did I get wrong? I think you mixed the Havarti and the Swiss. Okay. To me, they're pretty similar, to be honest. Like, they both have a, cr a creaminess. Now, I will say this. My memory of Swiss cheese... Mm -hmm. Did you did you give me some, like, scam Swiss, like, with more flavor? <laughs> no, did you get, like, extra strong? <laughs> no. You sure? It's just normal Swiss cheese it's from just Trader Joe's. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. What I'll say is my memory of Swiss cheese... It's a lot blander than the reality of the Swiss <laughs> cheese. It's so nice. It's good. It's um, got a great tanginess, dude. That's the whole point. It's got that little aftertaste, the tanginess. And that's when, you know, when you have a Reuben or something, you taste that in there. I don't think it's tangy. I wouldn't say that taste is tangy. Yeah. I would say it's like, um, it's, it's almost so like, a, you know, like acid and base. It's like base. <laughs> it tastes like base. Like it's, it's very round. It's a round taste. You have to be based to enjoy it. That's for sure. I think the Havarti tastes better. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's got a unique flavor. But well, again, let me look up the definition of bland. It says mild or insipid. It's not insipid, that's for sure. No. Ooh, this is such an insipid I'm gonna. Cheese. I'm just going to go back to the um, the mozzarella. Mm -hmm. No. Mozzarella has more flavor. <laughs> this is lies. It does. This is just lies. Mm, maybe not. No, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's saltier. I think I'm mixing up salt. Yeah. I think, I think it's somewhere in the middle. Okay. It's somewhere in the middle. It's not bland though. It's a little bland, but not that bland. There we go. So I think we've. Uh, but we've... it's not like a sharp cheese. I didn't say it was a sharp cheese. You want blue cheese or something? That's, or you know, whatever, an aged cheddar or Stilton or whatever you call it. That's different. Just saying that Swiss cheese is not bland. You've been e eating the holes all these years, you know. I'm based in cheese build now, but okay, yeah, yeah, it's somewhere in the middle. It's okay. not bl okay. I'll say it's not that bland. Good. Maybe, but the, it's not like you know, blow may, your maybe face Maybe the dishes off. you've been having it on, like there's too much other stuff on there that just makes it. Yeah, because I don't usually eat it plain. I guess, mm. and I'm not like sneaking in like sneaky weasels playing on the background. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sneaking olives, olives and, and cheese. Yeah, exactly. I do that, but I don't pick the Swiss. Okay, I got gotcha. you. You know what I mean? Okay, cool. I'm glad we sorted that out. Now we can actually continue on with the show, and we get to our main segment, which is. Uh, of course, half power hour. We gotta do we super talk chats about, first. Uh, oh, sorry. Well, well, uh, my mistake. We got a couple of super chats to answer, mm -hmm. and then we'll hit soft power hour. Um, All this cheese has made me forget. I, I want to like give a shout out first to Emmanuel Turnand, who gave us a lot of money, and I very much appreciate that again, Emmanuel. Wow. Uh, always popping in with the the saving grace here. That's incredible. Thank uh, you so much for your generosity. He says, congratulations for reaching 100,000 subs, milestone. We also wanted to say, guys, we did it mm. um, because we because reached out you. to you guys. Mm. 
we actually hit a hundred thousand subs and burping up cheese but we uh mm -hmm. we got to apply they let us mm -hmm. apply after we were on the, the line of youtube for the eight billion mm -hmm. hours um they finally give us the application progress pro um what's it called the sheet Process, to fill out? yeah, yeah. We that did. means that we can verify the channel, yes. which helps a lot. That means every time, because we've been demonetized a lot, but if you verify, they're a little bit more fair. Yes. They give you an option to rate yourself. Yeah. And you get to say what's in the video that might be offensive. As opposed to just blanket, like, oh, this is going to be bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, thank so you very much. Anyway, he says, Gong Shi Niman, and he says, keep up the great work on all of your channels. I hope you guys reach a million subs milestone soon. Uh, my thoughts this week go to Michael Spaver mm. and his friends and family. May humanity get rid of this cancer called the CCP. Yes. Chinese people deserve so much better. And we agree, Manuel. Thank you for Thank your you message. Thank you so much. And we'll have a little bit of news about uh, Michael later. Yes. Uh, JJ says, uh, Winston, I just watched the other day um, your videos in regards to your parents. So they still live in South Africa. They do. Uh, Akosha says... They do. It's a pity. I, I will be updating you guys next next week, Saturday. I'll be having a live stream, which will be a big Q&A about everything uh, in South Africa, including what happened to my parents and myself. I'll explain from my point of view, but I'm also going to explain about a lot of other incidents that have happened to me while living in South Africa and how I've narrowly escaped death plenty of times. Anyway. Akosha says, awesome show. I agree with Sea Milk that Swiss cheese is bland by itself, lol. Thank you very much, Akosha. Welcome to my side. Uh, Power <laughs> Welcome Shift. to my space. <laughs> <laughs> Power Shift says, congrats on 100k subs. Question, why does Xi Jinping look like a burnt marshmallow with little sausage fingers? <laughs> is he a hobbit? And that is a very legitimate question, a very deep question. I appreciate that. No idea. Square says, I uh, oh. just wanted to give a... What? A bit of trivia for you. Do you know what Xi Jinping's English name is? No. Ryan. Is it? Yeah. You just blew <laughs> my mind. Wait, for yeah. real? It's Ryan Xi. Ryan? Ryan. I have so many friends named Ryan. Yeah. What am I going to do? I don't know, but that's his English name. You just blew <laughs> my... Like, seriously. Yeah. The chat's going to go absolutely wild. It's true, His though. name is Ryan? Yeah, Ryan Xi. That humanizes him so much. <laughs> I know, right? Anyway, Ryan. just so you all know. That just, like... <laughs> wow, it made me, like, uncomfortable. Mm. Yep. Oh my gosh, the Swiss is coming up. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> Ryan, yeah, I can't Ryan. get over that. Yeah, it's pretty funny. We can't call him Ryan. No, no. no. <laughs> What's Ryan up to this week? <laughs> I don't Ryan. know. Just enslaving the populace, you know. <laughs> Ryan's... Ryan! You know, study Ryan's thoughts. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's right. I just, anyway, let's I start. just can't like... Yeah. That should have been the title of this video. Why'd you drop that on me out of nowhere? Oh, it's just a, it's a interesting fact I learned last week. So I just remembered now. God damn it, Ryan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry, Square says, want to give a shout out to your wives. They deserve some beers as well. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Um, Tess, it'll do two more. Tess, it turns says, Citizens, uh, Citizens United has become America's kryptonite, allowing untraced... I don't know what that means. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Thank you for your warning. We'll, we'll look, look into, into that. Uh, Brian says, congrats on the 100K. And Thank you so Tess, much. Tess, it says, Wu-Tang. Okay, excellent. Let's move on to our main segment, which is Soft Power Hour. This is where we talk about how the Communist Party is changing your mind through all sorts of uh, means and ways. Ryan? Yes, Ryan. Why? Yeah, it's Ryan. Way to ruin a name. <laughs> I know. Uh, anyway, uh, what do we got here? We got Chen Wei Hua. What does this have to do with <laughs> Okay, <anything>? so... <laughs> Uh, trolling old Chen, aren't you? Yeah, good old Chen Wei Hua. We all know him. He's the guy who um, attacked... The German, uh, who was it again? I don't even remember. <laughs> a, a prominent German diplomat and yeah. called him the fucking Mars. That's what he said to him. So I'm sure you've all noticed that there's been a lot of nonsense going on with the, the Olympics. Yeah. Okay, we have talked about it a lot. We'll just go over it very quickly here. But basically, he, um, <laughs> over here, he put a tweet out. <clears throat> it says, US media always have a way to put US on top. Now, <clears throat> he shared a picture of the, the medal count. Now, at this point... Uh, America had less Goals. gold medals, but yeah. they still had the majority of medals. And you see the medal count, the total was 71. China had 69. Uh, nice. So the, what happened then is uh, he was like, oh, well, America is a way to put, put it on top. So when after America had finally won all the golds, I, um, I, I just kind of said to him, you know, can you count the fucking mass? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know what's sad about this, the yeah. Chen Wei Hua thing? Like, at this point, like you said, the U.S. had less golds, right? Yes. 
the majority of U.S. news sources that I used for my video when I did the Olympics had China on top. Yes. So he had to go cherry pick some yeah, random one. random one. Anyway, what uh, a lot of the sycophants and the Chinese nationalists are doing... We, we called doing, this. We knew this was going to Yeah, happen. you know what they're doing? If you can see on the screen here, they have now rated and said that China actually won the most amount of golds because they've taken Zhongguo, which is China, Zhongguo Xianggang, which is Hong Kong, Zhongguo Almen, which is Macau, and Zhongguo tai Taipei, which is Taiwan. So they took all of Taiwan's medals, Hong Kong's medals, and Macau's medals and claimed it as, as if that was actually China's medal. And it's not ironic, by the way. No, and they believed, no, we actually won the most. Right. And then uh, the CCP sick events, like the Shill guys that we always bring up, which yeah. we don't always bring them up, but we'll when, they, when they're when they relevant, yeah. um, they, they were putting this out there saying, like, uh, China owns Taiwan, so they claim all their medals. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, though, all of those other countries or, you know, whatever special autonomous regions have different flags. So my whole thing is that the red Chinese flag lost to the American flag fair and square. You can try yeah, and claim flag, all those other yeah. things, but they're not. And at the same time, if we're going to go by this logic, then how about we just say that the British Empire actually won because we can the include every single Commonwealth country and yeah, including, still a including Commonwealth. America that used to be a British colony. And then you can say, look, actually, you know, the UK won at the end of the day and yeah. the most gold well, medals. Congrats, congrats to President Ryan, Chairman yeah, Ryan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chairman so Ryan. Up to me. I know. <laughs> I don't know why I can't do Yeah, it's so, so silly. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you, yeah, you had foreigners like putting this out too. I say not foreigners as a non-Chinese. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, but yeah. on to our main segment here, which is unfortunately... <sighs> We talked about this last week, how they're closing down um, private for money uh, training centers, okay? And last week, we kind of had a bit of a prediction that big thing, big dogs like Wall Street English uh, would be shut down. And they have now yeah. released an official statement that yeah. they're shutting down. They've gone bankrupt in mainland China. Here's a picture of uh, Wall Street English that's been closed. And I've been in contact with some staff from Wall Street English, okay? They've been moaning to me. Um, Rightfully so. I just say your cheese. I it thought that was mine. D doesn't matter. <laughs> cheese is cheese, bruh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me bring up this guy's... Saving German Ryan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, let me take a quick look. I just want to get the relevant stuff up here. You know, okay. They have... They've been telling... Um, Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Most of the employees haven't been paid since March of this year, yeah. okay? That's a long time. They've been sending emails. He sent me all the internal emails, which I'm not going to share no, with you I guys because it's idea. probably against the law to share internal emails from a company. But he basically sent me... <clears throat> and they had all sorts of excuses in the beginning about, oh, COVID's hit us hard, you know, we're just... You know, all these kind of excuses to not pay them. Anyway, the fact of the matter is that they have been now on uh, kind of working pro bono, if you know what I mean. Like, oh, well, you will get paid, but you just have to keep working. And they were even still signing up uh, new students in August. You know what I mean? This yeah. month. It's crazy. So they're still in the beginning of this month. This new law comes out. They're done. They obviously can't recover. There's no way. So they've shut doors. And um, many people have lost their... What, what are you this reading? Ryan. This yeah, is Lion Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go so, ahead. Sorry. Um, now the thing is, it's it's a lot more than just people losing their jobs and having you know yeah. worked for free for months on end, okay, since March. Everybody that works for Wall Street English and it's a huge company. Mm. It's really big all over all over mainland China. Yeah, it's the second to EF. Yeah, English second. Version. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going to happen with EF, but they probably we don't know yet. Yeah, we don't know, so we can't say. But I can <clears throat> say for uh, Wall Street, um, a lot of them are in China on a work visa. It's called a, a Z visa, Z visa. It's a gongzuo. That's why yeah, it's Z. Yeah. So it's a work visa. It's tied to your company and uh, the company's gone down. And so what they said is um, uh, can visas will get canceled next week and people will have 10 days to transfer or apply for a 30 day sort of humanitarian visa for more time to transfer. So you've suddenly got, I'm imagining thousands of foreigners that well, are stuck <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> who are stuck in china english teachers which to be fair from my own experience usually aren't very good at saving money anyway a lot of them 
a lot of them. Yeah, it's, I think that's very fair to say. Okay. <laughs> Why else would you be there? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. So they're stuck in China. They've been having to pay their own rent and bills and stuff with their savings, what little they have since March. Now, all of a sudden, they're out of a job completely. No way to earn money. They're going to be out of a visa. And according to this guy, a lot of them don't even have enough money to buy a plane ticket to go home. Never mind the fact that it's really difficult to travel right now. And if any of them do leave China, they can't get back. You got to understand, China is like, no, no, foreign is not allowed right now, especially with the new crackdown on the Delta variant. Did you say you got to understand China? Yeah. Wow, you did. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what else? Um, I I told, he said some people are lucky enough to get jobs. This guy I'm talking to says... He's not, that, he's, he'd let you read DMs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he's fine with it. I, I okayed it with okay. him. <clears throat> he told me that as we predicted... He has now got a hell of a lot more private work. Yeah, yeah, we and knew that. And they're paying 600 to 800 mm. RMB an hour. That's 100, 100 bucks. Yeah, US. an hour to teach yeah. kids privately in their houses. And so uh, he says that he's actually making way more money now than when he actually worked legitimately at Wall Street, which makes sense. We, yeah. we called that. We knew it. It's just pushing everything underground, guys. Yeah. So basically what's happening is you can't teach at these big training centers anymore, so the parents are going to be like, come just secretly and it will deregulate it again yeah so it's gonna be a mess. these rando tourists that'll be in china are gonna be able to make shit tons of money with their like zero no degree yeah but the, here's the problem though you can't do visa runs anymore no no because that's you, you know it was always a, a thing because americans could get 10-year tourist visas but when it says 10 years it doesn't mean that you can stay there for 10 years no, it's, it's three usually months, yeah, yeah three is three months one to max? three months yeah. i think it's one month usually but depends. one to three one depends, depending on yeah. your yeah thing um so yeah, you got a one to three month thing, and then you have to leave and come back. Most people would either uh, hop into Hong Kong and come out, or they'd quickly go on a little holiday to Thailand, or they'd go to Mongolia, wherever they are based, right? And come back. But you won't be able to do that anymore because of the strict quarantining. So that whole kind of tourist English teaching under the table thing isn't going to be able to exist anymore. No, no, no. no just yeah. saying. Well, um, you could go do it once. <laughs> yeah, you could do it once. Um, anyway, the thing is, this guy says that the... Uh, that actually might be a thing. I'm calling it right now. They'll fly you out for three months. They'll set you up, pay you a bunch of money, and then they send you home. That might be a thing. Yeah, that's <coughs> entirely possible. The super wealthy CEO is apparently an 89-year-old Italian. He's left everyone with nothing while his other assets and businesses are untouched. So he's not a very good guy. But like I was... I was hey, having, we don't know. Yeah, I was having a conversation. Um... Because apparently the guy kept everyone in the dark for months with empty promises of bank loans and investors and stuff like that. And he could have been more transparent. And also the students are all going nuts because they they signed up even as late as August, like I said. And they're not getting their classes anymore. It's a big mess. Um, and I mean, look, at the end of the day, the CCP is ultimately at fault here, okay, for putting these arbitrary rules yeah. and just shutting things down. <laughs> but also, somebody who wants to deal with the CCP in order to make a quick buck, is not going to be a very good person at the end of the day anyway, usually. So that probably all contributed. So um, I wanted to quickly talk a little bit about Wall Street English, simply because we've all seen them. We all know people that have worked for them. Let me actually get some footage I took of Wall Street English. Uh, there we go. There's like, hang on. Oh, it's the whole child English. Oh, it's the whole child. Not the okay, here's a brochure from Wall Street English. And they were very big making a bank in mainland China. Okay, and it was one of the big guys that you would go to. So, one thing though, everybody that I know who worked for Wall Street English hated, absolutely hated teaching there for one reason. You know the reason? The classrooms. Um, you can see right here, here's a Wall, Wall Street, Street English. That's a little yeah. known competitor, Wall, Wall Street. Street English. And this one's up on like a second or a third floor. Usually they'd be <laughs> on the ground floor in like a shopping mall area or a very yeah. busy pedestrian area. They set up what uh, were called... <laughs> Capsules. Yeah. They set up what were called like aquarium classes. So all the walls are glass. So as you're teaching, the public sits and stares at you. I mean, like I'm filming some poor... I don't even know who he is. It's like kind of a, up, bro? a balding middle-aged teacher He probably knows here. who you are. Yeah. And, um, you know, he's out there and everyone's watching him doing this I wonder if his name's Brian. Maybe. Uh, but the whole point is that it's very embarrassing because what would happen is you'd be teaching, you're standing up in front of a, a class, I said glass, you're standing up in front of a class of students and the public would literally come and stand at the window and you. stare at you, like look at the foreigner. And that was their marketing. 
Because they're like, hey, look, we've got foreigners here. You could For also get taught in an aquarium. Oh, you, you know, that's you could yeah. also be one of these. Yeah, you could also yeah. exactly you could be taught there. But that's the thing. It's like I guess it it was a massive advertising thing, but it's very demeaning. It's like you're a sideshow. You're being put on display. Yeah. And that's why everyone that worked for Wall Street English was very upset about that part. But they were a legitimate company. They gave you like they paid for your flight tickets. They paid home. the best out of all those. Um, yeah. Those yeah, chain that ones. kind of thing. So anyway, now it's pretty much definitive that they've gone under in mainland China. Yep. I mean, I'm pretty sure they still operate in many other countries around the world. But the, the, the teachers and the students in mainland China are shit out of luck. Just uh, wanted to put that out there. Some someone said I'm on a spousal visa, making twelve thousand dollars per month teaching under the table. Probably going to make twenty to twenty five k a month now that training centers are closing. Wall. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just creating a gray market. It is it's insane. It creates a gray market. Yeah. So uh, it's going to go back to kind of the way it was, where yeah. it's all illegal. But the difference is, like, yeah, if you're on a spousal visa, that's okay because you can stay for long term. That's correct. It also shows you how ridiculous it is that if you're on a spousal visa, you're not allowed to work legally. Yeah. You know, you yeah. should be able to. I know so many of my Chinese friends who live in the U.S. because they're married to an American, whether it's American Chinese or another American Mexican or whatever it is. They're married. But as soon as you get married, you can work legally. There's nothing stopping you. You have to apply for your green card and everything. It's, it's a process, but you can. You're married to a local. You can work. That's how it is. Yeah, I, I didn't change to a spousal visa until towards the end because I had to work. Yeah. I had to operate my own business. Yeah, exactly. It's just crazy. Anyway, um... Another thing they're cracking down on, unfortunately, because they are basically doing a modern day book burning. OK, if you look at what they're doing, first of all, they've uh, banned foreign textbooks in middle schools and high schools and all that kind of thing. They've banned foreign teaching training centers because they don't want wrong speech or wrong think to enter the minds of anyone. Now they're banning songs. So actually, you can just run this in the background. There's, yeah. If you guys stick around, there's going to be two about five-second clips of us in the wild singing, Winston oh, and me singing with our real voice. It's like kind of ear rape. It's, but. it's terrible because, first of all, it was a very long time ago, and um, we were horribly drunk. It was at your wedding. Yes. It was like the after party. So this is the way KTVs work. A KTV is a room that you go into. Um, this is me hanging out with my wife singing at KTV. You go in there, you pick your songs on this little LCD screen, Yes. LED screen, and you pick... You you can search English songs, Chinese mm -hmm. songs, old songs, new songs like that. Right? Yeah, yeah. And basically, you'll have a big screen, and then people sing songs, and the lyrics come up, just like a karaoke, right? Sure, sure. It's a pastime. It's very, very fun. People love to do it. We used to do it. We talked about yeah, this before. Yeah, we talked about it. We loved it, and then it gets old. It gets old. However, yeah. that be, you can just run this. Oh, yeah, this, this is, is, this is my, uh, my wife singing. They even have karaoke booths in the malls right which to me is the dumbest thing in the entire world well you know it, it's kind of a different kind of lifestyle because in those booths you like log in with a qr code and then whatever you sing it'll record it and it'll send a file to your phone so that you can listen to it later how is that not so dumb it's yeah. the whole point is you get drunk with your friends that's yeah. what ktv is it's a different culture you know how are you how are people going to do ketamine off the table and they're in that <laughs> glass booth i don't know that's but at the same time you know some, anyway. some people put i don't know like discs in their lips you know it's just a different culture this is true this mm. is true different culture yeah. anyway uh what i wanted to say was what the hell is going on here we're supposed to be talking about bands yeah I don't not know. like looking at x-rays and ribs yeah no that's uh that that was you know she had to go for some surgeries i'll just okay. fast forward yes. to the part where she actually is doing the singing <laughs> the yeah this is, bizarre. this is bizarre okay anyway so the new yeah. law says they're going to ban uh, certain songs, right? Yes. And they've done this before. They did this in 2015. Mm. Uh, the ministry released... I'm just going to read the government quote. Yeah. They released a blacklist of 120 songs. No, no this, that was in 2015. That's what I just said. Oh, sorry. 2015. I wasn't paying attention. Um, they released a blacklist of only 120 songs only that, that trumpeted yeah. obscenity, violence, crime, and harm society's morality. Songs like... I love Taiwanese girls, which is actually a completely wrong translation. Yeah, it's an MC Hot Dog song from Taiwan. It's called Wa Ai Tai Mei. Mm -hmm. Tai Mei are like the kind of like local girls that have poofy hair and wear like chains and like weird mm -hmm. clothes. Yeah, um, Beijing Hooligan, Suicide Diary, and Don't Want to Go to School. <laughs> and another one that's like Fart. A song yes, called Fart. fart. Um, so anyway, they uh, uh, yeah, a song called Fart was blacklisted. The lyrics of the song read, there are some people in the world who like farting while doing nothing. I know, actually know that song. Anyway, so they banned this. This is also under Xi Jinping, or sorry, under yeah. Ryan. Ryan, Ryan, yeah. Ryan Xi. Ryan yeah. banned these songs. Yes. But this is only 120. Now this is going to be a blanket ban. Yes. And let me tell you, the new rules of songs that they're actually... <laughs> <What? laughs> we need a segment called Ryan Says. Yes. <laughs> 
Can yeah. we can you write that down? Yeah, we should right. actually do like because he has she she says every day. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> That's joking. That's what she says, you know. It's literally limp biscuit shit. Anyway, yeah. there's you know on the C, on the CCTV website they have she's thoughts for the day. Yes, they do. We need Ryan says. Yeah. Anyway, the new law mm. for the songs that they're gonna block in KTV and karaoke are ones that endanger national unity. So that could literally cover anything. It could. So if if someone <laughs> if a song says like God bless the USA in it, then it's not allowed. Correct. Correct. That's what it's all about. Yes. Especially they don't want songs that glorify Taiwan. You know, yeah. you have to understand. In China, one thing I learned very quickly is that mainland China can't make songs for shit. Okay, and no. this is this is okay. I'm not trying to insult no, the, the, China, the, but the general industry. What you have to understand is that because China was going through turmoil and chaos, and only just starting to recover in the 80s and 90s, they didn't have time to develop like rock stars and superstars and all that. But they have this very um, I don't know what would you say. It's a very cool thing, and the fact is that they have Chinese language speakers making pop songs for them in Taiwan Correct. and in Hong Kong. So a lot of, if not all, of the popular music in mainland China when I first got there in 2006 was all Taiwanese or Cantonese. Correct. With local, like actual homegrown pop songs were just non-existent or they were just garbage. Yeah, They're Correct. like absolute garbage. But everyone knew they were garbage. <laughs> no one was trying to pretend they were cool. They were kind of like low-class people listen to that, you know? That's how it is. I mean, even there, <laughs> that... Bloody gong shi ni fat sai di 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 di. You know that thing? That's made by Thai people. It's not even made by local Chinese people. So Thailand. All, yeah, yeah, th- yeah, from Thailand. From China it's, girls. It's called yeah. the Chi- China dolls. China dolls. Okay. You ever want to really, really get yourself a headache? Look up the China dolls and what is it like gong shi ni fat sai or Happy New Year or something. We'll play a little clip next time. Will that, we? That is the Will worst we? song. Because it's already ear raping my brain right it's now. It's the worst song ever made. You know and how people make ear rape versions of songs? That's already yes. ear rape. Well, I mean, like during Chinese New Year time, like the a few months preceding Chinese New Year, you start to hear it being blared Blair in the markets on, on some, some, some dude level speaker, speaker blaring it. Yeah, it's like, so, so it's, it's like, 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 it's, it's, it's really, really awful. Yeah. yeah. So maybe, maybe you should pull it up. I could, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You pull it up. We, we got to let you guys hear because now we can't suffer alone. alone. You have to hear it once. You're going to have to hear it in the background. But, but my, my whole point is that a lot of cultural influence from Taiwan and from Hong Kong, which of course has a lot of <laughs> Western this. influence. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. Are you going to turn it up a little bit? I will. I'll turn it up okay. as loud as I can. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, a lot of Western influence and a lot of Taiwanese and Hong Kong influence kind of came into mainland China through music. And the whole point is that it's popular. You, you know, know it's, it's pop music, music. and, and that's, that's what china, china doesn't want now they only want sort of uh songs state approved that, that are state approved in that uh you know okay get ready to hear the worst song ever i'll point this towards here so okay hear let's, let's just do this ready yeah, yeah. Uh, well something's going on you've got a because i have the other um yeah the window yeah just one second guys um, one second there it is. That one. Just oh, mute that. Mute. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you ready? You ready for the worst song you've ever heard? Let's do it. No, what are we doing? It's, it's, it's when the main okay, beat drops. Yeah. Mm. We are going to get copyright. Yeah, okay, now. never mind. Yeah. Anyway, that is. Can you imagine that horrible, horrible, like tech, China. techno, um, blasting your ears off everywhere you go in China for like months on end around Chinese New Year? Anyway, even that one, even that one comes from Thailand. It's not homegrown. So that's my meaning: is that too much influence comes through music. Chinese government doesn't like that. They're like, screw this. We're actually going to just put an end to this. So we're going to ban anything that we don't like. And the the thing is, it's not up to the karaoke bars to do it themselves it's kind of like the the, the, now remember it was very unregulated back in the day incredibly unregulated now what they're doing is they're actually going to um regulate everything that gets fed to the karaoke it's kind of like a a copyright board or whatever that and censorship board that's going to look at everything and then approve it we're we're echo bad that's because you moved you moved that you moved your mic that's why are we good now guys 
We need, sorry, we need a mic check. We need a mic check. Oh, mic you know check. why? Because when you played that, it probably went through the, the two of them. Get, hang on, I'll switch mine off. And... Oh, echo. Yeah, no, it's still echo. Is it still... <clears throat> still, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's still bad. Is Winston there still, is still an echo? Echoing. Guys, stop. Echo, echo the dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What have we That's done? Impossible. What do we... Maybe mute us on there. Oh, that doesn't help. What, here? Oh. How are you echo if your mic's off? Okay, you guys how about lion? Now? How about now? Lion Ryan. Good. Good. Better. Yeah, because you, you turned your mic off. Winston not. Ryan did it. <laughs> saying not fine. What is, what is going on here? Winston echo. Yeah, your mic's being bad. Well, I've, what's okay, let's just get rid of my mic, stick it one in the middle. Fine. All right. Fine. Fine guys. Fine, guys. If this is the way it has to be. This is what you want. This is what you get. Yeah, it's freaking. It's it is Ryan <laughs> it's a did it. Clear plan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Ryan did it. It's that. Horrible... Stop saying echo. We it's know. Done. It's done. There's no more echo. All right. It's off. Good. It's gonna okay. be worse audio now. No audio now. <laughs> Come on, guys. Enough's enough. All right. We're gonna move on here. I think we're good. <clears throat> it's worse. It says. How is it worse? Winston's still echoing. It's not possible. Fix. Better. Okay, we're good. Okay. I guess. <sighs> okay, anyway. So um, that's why they're blocking every single um, song that they don't want. And yeah. it's going to be yeah. awful. So, oh, I didn't finish. Yeah. So uh, they're also blocking things that violate uh, China's sovereignty or territory integrity. Okay. What? All those songs about Taiwan as a country? Yeah, because mm. that's a song. Yeah. The Diao Yu Dao is Bu Shi Zhong Guo Yeah, I mean, the, those songs don't exist, but no. I guess... I guess it's that whole thing where, um, you know, like Taiwan May or something like that. You know? Why Tai Mei? Yeah, why Tai Mei? It's like, oh, Taiwanese, no, it should be Chinese May. It should be Zhong Mei. <laughs> you know? I, I mean, I'm just guessing. Yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. Anyway, yeah. um, they've, if it violates China's religious policies. So in no other more, words, if it has religion yeah, in it. If it has religion. If it's like, God bless you or something, right. that's not going to be allowed. Right. I love that song, God bless you. Yeah. It's a great song. Yeah. <laughs> Spreads cults and superstitions. So I guess... It's all those Falun Gong raps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <exist>. Yeah. <laughs> and advocates obscenity, gambling, violence, and drug-related crimes or instigating crimes. So basically anything, really. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Are people still going on about this good... Gooder. Okay. Stop saying echo. Anyway. I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna listen to it on my phone and prove it's not echo. That, that's Then they win. Oh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Let's continue. No <laughs> echo. Yeah. So that's cool. fine. Good. All right. It's gonna be worse quality, though. Yeah. I mean, it's life. You know, you guys either have an echo or worse quality. I like how Chi the China Dolls, th that song wrecked everything. It that we probably were doing. did. I mean, it probably gave the computer an aneurysm. Yeah. It you almost know? gave me one. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with that. Is there anything else about that? Uh, about the, oh, I just wanted to cap it off by saying, um, just pause it for a second. Yeah. These kind of bands, they just, it, the, the thing is, in the West, it would never work mm. because people would just find a way. I mean, let's be honest, governments don't ban things like that. But if they yeah. were randomly overnight to start banning moral things, the government started deciding your morality, yeah. people would immediately rebel. And you'd think, and a lot of our viewers um, look at things through the Western lens and they say, hey, that's going to happen in China. People are just going to find other ways. No, this is where you're wrong. A fringe group of people will. Yeah, sure. Every class that I had in university would always have one kid mm -hmm. that hated the CCP. Sure. He had li listened and watched all the stuff that was against it. And he talked to me in private, right? Sure. And he would latch on more with Western culture. Yeah, but that was one out of a hundred kids, right? Mm -hmm. So when a ban happens, normal people, the average Chinese person, is going to say, "Oh, oh well." Well, oh. I mean, also you have to understand what kind of far-reaching consequences it has, because uh, KTVs can get into massive trouble if they play anything that's not on the approved list, Correct. or if they have anything. If they get reported, so you just need one nationalist guy, and there are yeah. tons of them out there, walk in there and say, "Hey, what's this Taiwanese music?" and report it to the local party official or something right. and that ka karaoke gets shut down they lose business maybe get jailed you never know what could happen yes so think about all the young people that are just getting into the karaoke's now they're just like let's go have fun at the karaoke it's their first time 
No. They go to go sing songs. Now all they have is whatever <laughs> the state said is okay. Well, I paid in Tiananmen. That's, Tiananmen. that's pretty much, you're just going to have that. That's it. Da, 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 da. Mm. And then they can do that. Uh, what, what was that English version of Meo Gong Chan Dan Jo Meo Xin Zhong Guo? Oh, yeah, I can't even remember that. It's the CPC yeah. that makes China great. Yeah. And then oh. they can listen to Cotton on Beat Saber. Mm. You probably can't have Beat Saber in China. No, it's probably illegal because it connects to foreigners online, you know? Yeah, like they can have secret Beat Saber meetings about how to overthrow the government. It's a big worry for <laughs> overthrow them. Overthrow yeah, seriously, <laughs> they, they are clamping down on online gaming. They've done that for ages because they're very worried about, um, you know, people having discussions Yes. On in an online game, if someone says something about like bad right. about the Chinese government, they can't handle that idea that that could happen. Right. So really, you know, mix it up. Right. Anyway. You get banned if you say echo now. Yeah. Swiss echo is bland. Yeah, <laughs> Swiss echo is bland. Okay. okay. So do we have this little clip of so us? So there's singing? a treat. There's a you're gonna get a five second clip to avoid copyright of Winston singing and then me singing it. I believe a Chinese song. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna That's be not bad. fair. You you gave you a Chinese song and. I, well, you, you wouldn't be able to tell. Okay. <laughs> let's see. It's just blaring noise. Okay. Oh, You're going to have see. to skip this. This is B-roll we were meant to talk over. Yeah. Which you didn't you didn't use. No. But you see, that's... That's, that's what, what a KTV looks like, yeah. Yeah, usually it's a bit more, like, flashy lights and stuff, though. You know, they got those disco lights. We just went to go film a quick video, so... Right. I picked right. a cheap one. I gotcha. You mm. can get crappy... Uh, there was one that we used to go to because my motorcycle friends were quite poor in Inner Mongolia. And yeah. they would go to one that cost 10 RMB. Wow. And it was like a pull-down sheet that had a projector on it. Okay, that's And we had a great time, though. Yeah. It's probably more fun than the bigger one. <laughs> oh. Here. Midtown Mike. I'm Hang sorry. On. I'm sorry. Where's the audio? This guy's going to come. Pause it for a second. I just want to say Midtown okay. Mike. He said right. um, the echo happened before you guys looked up China Dolls. Oh, really? Yeah. Weird. Go ahead. Okay. Maybe because we turned your mic towards the screen. So whenever I was talking, it was bouncing on that. That's what it is. Yeah. Brace yourself, guys. It's a real treat. It's coming. <laughs> Why? There's no audio, though. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's, when is it coming? coming? Okay. You chose the worst part, didn't you? No. No, I chose the part where you sound quite good. <laughs> Nonsense. But it's, no, yeah. I did, for real. Oh, okay. For real. It's supposed to be here. Videos. Yeah. You know what's ridiculous is that we looked around. We don't have any footage of KTVs, and I've taken so much. I don't think anyone can hear that horrible singing. Can, you can sing. <laughs> okay, wow. Anyway, um, mm. my point is we've been to KTVs probably hundreds of times. Yes, yes. And we have so many videos of them, but Thousands. we can't find any. Mm. I don't know why. I, I took a lot back in the day, but you know. I, I, used, to, I used to go with this, this buddy I had. Mm -hmm. His friend went to school abroad, yep. and he was rich. So he'd always take us out to like fancy KTVs in Inner Mongolia. Yeah. And he would always just get blind drunk and just be such an asshole to like the Fu Yuan's and everyone there. Right, right. And we would always be so embarrassed. Me and my Chinese friend would be like, oh my God. Because mm -hmm. this guy, like he thought he was hot shit because he studied abroad. Yeah, yeah. And he used to go... And whenever he'd want to change a location, he'd always, we'd go to like five in one night. Right. And he'd get bored. And what he would do is he'd order, we always knew this was going to happen. He'd order like 50 beers. Right. And then he, we knew that was going to be a problem because what he would do is be like, let's go guys. We'd still be singing. And then he would just go psh, psh, over and over again, just dropping him, what shattering a, glass everywhere. What a horrible person. Did that every time, like clockwork. What a horrible person. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, yeah. A um, lot of crazy shit happens at gay TVs. Yeah. yeah. Let's uh, wrap this up, basically. Yeah. They've, they have been banning a lot of things, and it's all about any kind of Western or outside influence, and it's awful. It really is like a modern-day book burning. And if you see the thumbnail, they really did burn any books. This is a while ago, like religious. Yeah, they kids. actually they burn do. them. They do. There are pictures of them burning any kind of books Bibles that have religion and, and stuff in them. So. Yeah. It's not a very good uh, situation, and it's only getting worse. China is closing down now with Wall Street shut down. You know how many foreigners are going to have to leave now? They don't ha even have a choice anymore. Yeah, apparently Met Metin is closing too. That makes sense. Yeah, Metin used to be called Metro English, but then they had some issue with copyright, I guess. Now it of, makes no sense. Yeah, so now it's Metin. Me, 10. <laughs> yeah. Um, who knows who else is going to uh, 
get get lost and go. Oh, probably everyone. You know, in a way. Honestly, yeah. this is the beginning of the end. You guys, like, if you keep reaching out and saying, like, oh, I want to get a job in China, we always say probably not a good idea right yeah. now. Go to Taiwan. If anything, China is absolutely on the path to close, full full on closing down right now. Yeah. 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 It's, Look at the it's port crazy. in Ningbo. Yeah. Ningbo, as people yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Ningbo. Ningbo, yeah. yeah. No, it's not good, guys. And uh, we don't like to see it going this way, but we've been calling this for a very long time. Um, anyway, let's do a couple of super chats. I wanted to, this is not a super chat, but they okay. said, Taiwanese KTV rooms are rational. It's only China, guys. And yes, I yes. will agree with you. Yeah. I've been to KTV a million times in Taiwan. It's like a business endeavor. All the women that you would go with, like not not KTV girls, like the, yeah. your coworkers, yeah. they've they've practiced. Oh, dude, for so long, and but it's like meticulous. I had that in China too. Oh, it did just you? Just depends on the class. I mean, you yeah. Know, I remember when I used to work for Tencent. We we went out to KTV a couple of times. Yeah. With my Tencent colleagues, and they were great. Yeah, but they're all drinking, right? In Taiwan, no one touched a drop. Oh, right, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Right. Anyway, um, yeah, let's hit some super chats. Uh. Uh, Mimi says, congratulations, guys. Now that you've achieved over 100,000 subscribers, maybe Joe Rogan will ask for you as a guest on your podcast. Well, I don't think so, considering cumulatively we have like 2 million subs. Really? That much? We have a lot. Right? I mean, if you put all our channels together. Yeah, that's together. what I'm saying, all together. Well, I have about 700,000. What are we, gold. China and gold medals now? We are. We add them all together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come on. <laughs> okay, fine. We are different territories. My point is, yeah. this podcast is our least popular channel. I, I want this to become our most popular. I, we enjoy this more than anything it's else. most fun. Because we enjoy, you know, eating cheese and talking to you it's guys. It's fun. Yes, yes. Everyone, I, we actually got Super Chats saying their favorite part was the cheese part. We're oh, really? We're have to bring it back with other foods. Okay. Uh, people love taste test stuff. So interesting. They do. The Swiss cheese is awesome. I like it. Yeah. Never said I hated it. You said it was bland. It's not bringing Do you say back. something you like bl is bland? <laughs> I do. I'm like, Ooh, this music this. is yeah, it's, it's so, so bland. bland. <laughs> this is... Love. This book is bland as all hell. Like this person, his speech is bland. Oh God, I love mm. bland things. It's bland soup. Uh, <laughs> David Pay says, yeah. "Congratulations on 100K. Thank you very much." Thank love. you. And then he put "la" in the end. Yeah. Uh, Q you. Basic 16. Uh, congratulations to the hundred thousand subscribers and thus direct contact with YouTube. Not yet. We've yeah. applied. It yeah. says it's going to take take a few weeks. It'll take a few weeks. Yeah. Thanks. And oh, we thank should you. get another play button. This is amazing yeah, because three already, between the two of us, we'll have in total four. Silver play buttons, yeah. which I think is... You're almost of, at a gold. Yeah, no, I mean, not almost. You know how slow it is from here. It'll take years. But the thing is, like, the fact that we could have four silver play buttons is quite awesome. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's it's really something to be proud of, you know? It's all because of you guys. Yes. Kareeb mm. CH, thank, thank you, you very much. Dan Katsatori, the Sunday Guardian had a great interview with China Uncensored this past weekend mm -hmm. uh, at, about the YouTube CCP style censorship. Worth reading. Here's 88 bucks. Good number. Thank you so much. Uh, for the good luck in fighting you against uh, totalitarian behavior. Thank you, Dan Ketchatori. Uh Mr. Terra TV says, are you planning on a bike tour through Germany? Only if I can meet uh, Die Woodies. <laughs> it's your favorite band. Die Fichtels Lied. <laughs> yeah, it's your favorite band. It is. Absolutely. We're definitely going to do it at some point. We'll go through the whole of Europe. It's going to be a lot of fun. Mm. All right, I'll, I'll yeah. come catch up on those. So uh, what are we doing next? We're doing Wumao Corner, aren't we? Wumao Corner. Uh, yes, we are. Did right. you give it a bit of good Go back. Okay. Uh, Wumao just... Corner is, is, is that. That is. It comes before. It comes before that. Right. Right, right, right yeah. before that. Yeah. Okay, but, yeah. there we go. Okay. We have a very special comment today on my video. So, yeah, Wumao Corner, where we talk about hate, and it gives you a good idea of what um, the narrative is in China right now when it comes to, you know, the the nationalists and the hate and all that sort of thing so usually it's got? usually it's much more hectic and bad than this but yeah. this one we just loved it's a garbage video with trashes that's the comment that and the, the username is sonic dong <laughs> sonic dong yeah exactly. i love it and he looks so yeah. happy i love yeah. it I, I i want him to post more i mean we went um, to go look at his channel but it had only been opened in the last week or something yeah, and it's, it's got it's zero a, content it's a bot account, yeah. unfortunately this is quite common they'll just open random uh, channels with random names and then come and leave disparaging comments downvote our videos that kind of thing and and it is a bot farm you've seen it before you've seen all the ladies sitting there with like 50 phones in front of each one or 100 uh -huh. phones and they yep. just sit there and that's all they do all day is like okay create accounts and then go and leave shitty comments everywhere yep i mean most of them don't even know like sonic dong probably doesn't even know what he's saying yeah i mean garbage video with trashes is like that you you would say laji si ping Yo, yo, laji, man. Yeah, yo, it doesn't yo, even make laji sense. Laji man. It doesn't even make sense. But that's not what it says. No, it's not. So that would be, 
垃垃圾食品。Yo, lagi. Yo, lagi. Yeah, yo, lagi. Yeah, yo, lagi. Yeah, I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. No. Anyway,、um, anyway, we we、Good、loved、friend. that comment and upvoted it. You did on your yes, it was on、I、your、did. channel, eh?、Um, so. But what it led to was what what videos are is he talking about? Well, the two videos that we released、uh, yesterday, I believe. Which I must say are garbage videos with trash <laughs> when it comes to the the views. We can't understand because、yeah. you guys,、mm -hmm. and I'm not blaming you. I'm I'm giving you credit. Yeah. You influence what we do. You、yeah. absolutely do. You give us ideas, and we cover things that we perceive as something you care about. Yep. So you guys reached out about two specific things, and guess what? Those are the exact two topics we covered this week. Yeah. Now, Winston and I have been doing very well with views、oh, uh, fairly recently. Okay. Fairly okay with views.、Um, mm. Our channels are getting pretty popular.、Mm. Um, so we covered things that we perceive would be popular because you guys, literally by the hundreds, were reaching out、mm -hmm. about these two topics. Number one was about the fake Swiss biologist that China created to push. Yeah. Fake COVID narrative about the、yeah. lab leak, and then number two was about Michael Spavor, our friend、yeah. uh, from yeah, Canada, that's a hostage in yeah, China. Yeah, for those of you who don't know,、um, with the Canadian side of things, there's this hostage diplomacy going on.、Um, the Michael, what's his name, Shellberg or Shellenberg or something, the drug dealer guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's different. He actually did break the law in China. He did try Not to. Not saying he deserves it. No, he、saying. certainly doesn't deserve the death penalty. No. But he did try to <laughs> smuggle drugs out of China, actually purchase and, and、right. send them out. Whereas which, our our friend Michael's favorite did not do no, that. No, he didn't do anything.、Um, but the, the the worst thing about the drug dealer death penalty guy is the fact that he only had a fifteen year sentence. And when he appealed, you know, think about this: you're like being sentenced by the Chinese Communist Party to fifteen years. You think you're innocent? Obviously, I, would, I don't think this guy's innocent. Whatever, got, it doesn't matter.、Let、he's got a huge、oh, yeah, he's, he's got a huge history of drug things in、sure. in Canada and stuff. So I'm guessing he's He's guilty of this. That's just my own personal take. But the fact of the matter is, he gets 15 years. He's like, screw this. Speaks to his lawyer. He he tries his best. They're like, okay, we're going to appeal this. We're going to see what we can do.、And、he goes for an appeal, and the judge is like, yeah, you're right. You shouldn't have got 15 years. You're getting the death penalty now. That must be the worst mistake of your life. Like, Salt why? Wound. Why did I appeal? You know. It's like getting a. Pile of Swiss cheese when you ask for <laughs> Gouda. You know what I mean. Swiss cheese is better than Gouda. No way. So much better. No, you're weird. No, it's anyway. Now the fact of the matter is,、um, you know, we we've been saying for a while that we know one of the Michaels. We never let on who it was simply because we didn't want to like、uh, jeopardize their. But it's been sentenced. It's、so. but it's done. So Michael Spavor is the guy we knew, and we knew him because while we were filming Conquering Northern China, we spent、um, a lot of time on the North Korean border area, and he was like our fixer just in that area. And he is a great guy, and we spent、uh, quite a while with the guy. We went out for dinners and we went out for lunches. He took us around to show us all the different cultural things, the Korean cultural. Yeah, he did a great、happening. job. He knew everyone there. It was nice. And、um, we kept in touch because he's a good guy,、mm -hmm. and like you could say, a very good acquaintance. You yeah. Know? yeah.、Um, So it was just heartbreaking, and、uh, it's horrible to see that he's could been have, could、sentenced. have been us next. Well, that's why that's one of the main reasons that I left. Yes.、Um, yes. Anyway, so、uh, we wanted to give you a clip from both of our videos.、Uh, the first one will be mine, and what I wanted to say is that the description,、uh, the、uh, down below, you can click the links in the description. Yeah, just a quick little clip from each of them in case you haven't seen them. Please watch them after this. Please, I plead you because they deserve more views. And everyone that watched both videos were like, "Thank you. These are really important." Yeah, whoever watched them in our audience right now, we thank you from the bottom,、yes. bottom of our hearts. Thank you so much.、Let's、Please share quick, them out. Let's have a quick look at what they're all about,、yeah. shall we? Okay, we'll get there. This is not a shameless plug. This is the picture they use for them is even used on other things, <laughs> like on medicine, self-help products,、uh, furniture. Home is the place where our minds can rest for a moment, and where we can remember the happy memory during. The years, paint, fertilizer additives. Hell, we even found one on. Hell, we even found him on Wikipedia for these fertilizer additives. He's a big deal. What a busy guy. I see why he has to change his signature all the time. He's probably got too many fans. For his own safety, he's he's got to keep him guessing. You know. So, Don't worry about the pause real quick. Yeah. So that video is about a、um, basically a, a Swiss biologist was created out of thin、yeah. air by、yeah. China. And what happened was they needed to make up a fake social media account to say that、uh, the second probe into the origins of of the coronavirus in、yeah. Wuhan is un unwarranted. Yes. So they need a Westerner to say that with with scientific credentials to be like, see, China's right. 
Mm. This evil bully America is trying to find the origins, but, you know, look inward. Sure. So they created all this shit, and it actually blew up in their face, because mm. what happened, they created this man named Wilson Edwards, yeah. and he doesn't exist, and Switzerland no. immediately called it out, and they said, there's no, there is no Wilson Edwards no, in Switzerland. There's no citizen with that no. name. Don't you dare do this. Yeah. So they said, calling Wilson Edwards, we're looking yeah. for you. Actually, we know this is fake news from China. Yeah. So I did a video about um, how that actually came to be and why why this is not a new thing. They constantly make people up. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Anyway. So uh, the next, we just want to show you some actual real live footage of Michael Spavor, the poor guy who's now a political prisoner and a hostage, hostage in China. Yellow stuff, that's just... For the female fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. There we go. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And thank you, Michael. Yeah, thank it. you, Michael. Gumbe. 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 Michael Spavor is not a spy. So we're here actually uh, in a very, very interesting place. That's true. Why don't you, Michael, introduce yourself and then introduce where we are. Ah, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Michael Spavor. I live here in the Yemben region. Uh, yeah, this this area is... Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the be-all and the end-all. We just wanted to show you what is being classified as garbage and trashes videos. Yeah, so shameless plug. but Shameless plug, yeah, shameless plug. You're kind of getting off the screen I'm there. I'm getting off friend. the screen, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll come back I don't on. I want to lose you. Yeah, so, I mean, that's that's really pretty much um, it for the Wumao Corner. Yeah, We're we'll going to hit super chats. some Super Chats, and then I'll, I'll, I'll load up our, our world news. Yes. Uh, my wife is going back to China to visit her father who is very ill. I'm considering deleting or hiding some of my social media posts. Posts Is that excessive? Not necessarily. No, I think it's that's it's pretty wise. Idea. Yeah. It's wise. Kate Farrell says, first time catching you guys live. Here's something for the demonetization fund. Keep up the amazing work. You inspire me to keep a thick skin in the face of criticism. Thank, Thank you, you, Kate, and keep up that thick skin. Absolutely. Don't bend to the pressures. Um, you know, man, if I bend to every single time someone calls me a racist or a white supremacist or any ist anything, I would have given up years ago and I wouldn't have been able to do the work that I do. You have to stand up in the face of this nonsense and realize that if you're being labeled as something or you're being attacked, it's because you're doing the right thing. It means that you are actually usually on the money and that's why they're doing it. They're trying to shut you up. Uh, Tenme Kulkarni says, Hi guys, sorry I'm a poor man from India, hence only able to afford so much, but I want to say from me and my family, follow your podcast, and it gives a neutral and different perspective of Chinese culture and the way of life. Thank you and God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Tenme. That's very generous and Absolutely. you don't have to apologize. No, that's, no, not That's at all. awesome. I really appreciate that. Thank you, my friend. Uh, Lawrence just joined. He's a member. Thank you very much. Dude, gas money for the truck. That means we can actually fill the tank. Oh, L. Jung, yeah, because it actually costs about $100 every time to fill the truck. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. That's awesome, Leon. (laughs) Um, Tornado Brick, would you consider a VR chat meetup? Actually, last episode, if you'd stay tuned, uh, if you watched that one, we actually put out a poll and we got enough people to say yes. Yeah. So we will be organizing a VR subscriber meetup. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Fun to see you guys. And you can use it without VR. Yeah. Just with a phone. Yeah. Can't wait. Daredevil1985, I'm hoping Cardi C's next track to drop will be Polyester. <laughs> Keep up the good work, guys. Because so Cotton and then, yeah. yeah, Polyester, yeah. Drake Camby, I recently started a new logistics job at a major Japanese company here in the U.S. I cringed during orientation when they presented a CGTN video to show how great China's logistics systems are. I was su- It was supposed to inspire us. Well, Ouch. Drake, that is embarrassing. Did they know the source material? Mm. Yes, yeah, it's literally Chinese state propaganda. Well, I mean, the fact of the matter is the uh, infrastructure when it comes to logistics coming out of China is good. It's yeah. been because they've got it worked out. They've got all these trade deals and stuff that work in their favor, and it, it really does work. You can get things out of China very quickly. Sure. Yeah. Okay, from that perspective. Yeah. yeah. It's like, so I'll keep pushing for those favorable trade deals, and uh, maybe it's your like country will. Winning with a handicap. You know, you yeah. win at golf, you like, but you got this massive handicap. It's like adding like, Taiwan to your medal count. Yeah, it's pretty much what it is. It's, S- yeah. Sander, uh, congratulations. On 100k, can Thank we you. S- can we see a celebratory anti-rap uh, CCP rap diss track someday? Maybe you will. Oh, I hope so. Someone has to diss us first. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. Like, I think it'd be very easy, just given the equipment we have here, to make the same level of like production quality rap as they have. Except I've shot a few music videos before. Yeah, Pretty and you've ones. done that before. Yeah, yeah. And so we could do that, but back at them at some point. It'd be the yeah. cringiest. Thing I don't ever. need to fight back against Cardi C. She's on our team. They yeah, shouted sure. us out. So. Yeah, yeah. Victor Washington, I always, yeah, but there are people we could, especially yeah. the state sponsored ones. Sure. Yeah. Like, I feel like I would li- love a diss track to go up against Large Popeye, dude. Large, Large, the yeah. whatever Popeye thing. Yeah. yeah. Chinese mm-hmm. man, it's not the same guy, is it? Chinese it is. Man, oh, it yeah. is, yeah. 
I'm going to show you Chinese manners. Yeah, I've got oh, yeah. that. Victor Washington says, I always look forward to your most enlightening and educational videos. I learned from watching uh, China Uncensored and the 50 Cent Army has added bots to its arsenal. Sure. What is the best counteroffensive? Ignore fighting with bots, bots with fighting bots with bots. That's an interesting idea. You just have to know Bot how to recognize wars. them and just uh, dis disregard them. Yeah. B. Uh, Pusman says, here's some funds towards Matthew's art appreciation lessons. Thank cool. you. I appreciated that man's art. Uh, it became a black blob at the end, but sure. you know, on his, his process, it's all about the journey. I, I mean, if they had him doing calligraphy or something, it would have been amazing. But yeah. like, what was that black canvas of junk? And he's just like doing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, I'm going to go. I'll hang out in his yard. Yeah. Shoot down under. Imagine if it was sung on American Idol. Mm. Yeah, imagine that. Hog, yep. hog, Hogni Asjord. Thank you very much. Uh, Ross Wolf says, Cardi C, how has the CCP helped you? Lately been eating so less. You and 220 20 15 million, million others. Wow. Ouch. Now that's, that's a diss. That's a diss. She didn't Dude, deserve that. But that is a diss that would definitely come in a, in some kind of a reply yeah, in that video. Definitely, sure. yeah. Peter Tran says, blue cheese or goat cheese? Uh, goat cheese I like much better. I don't like blue cheese very Blue much. cheese is very strong, yeah. Do you like blue cheese though? Not a huge fan. No, me neither. You know, if it's the only thing left in the fridge, I find if you melt it, it's not as bad. Oh, really? You can melt it? Yeah. Interesting. So, you know, if you put it on toast and you melt it, so it's just going to melt. It actually isn't as strong as it oh, is. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. I wonder why that is. Mm. Uh, Lexi Red with a triple eight. Did you all know China owns GE, AMC, and Motorola? Mm. What the mm. hell? <laughs> I just found out. Is that true? <laughs> was the AMC... Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, it GE? is true. China owns GE? Yeah, I don't yeah. know about GE. I don't, I know, think, so. I don't I, think so. I think a definitely AMC. Okay. Yeah. AMC, like the... The, the movie like theater? Like the movie theaters, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they do. I just found out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. definitely. Now I have to sell, she said. Mm. David Pay, I agree. Cardi C has potential. I'll just get off the CCP. Yeah. yeah. Cardi C, you have potential. Look deep inside. And I, I know, maybe just to get in the game, you have to appeal to the party, right? So yeah. give you the benefit of the doubt. Keep I, it up. I'm going to say Jaya. you have potential if you can figure out how to sing without auto-tune. Sure. Mm. Like we're one to talk. <laughs> we're not trying to be rappers, bro. Oh, you don't know. Wait till you see. We're going to come up from the ashes and make our own nonsense. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, I'll do one more. Yeah, one um, more. I, I'm going to avoid some things. Okay. Oh, I just okay. snapped. So I'll just keep we'll, it we'll, okay. we'll go to the next part, which is worldview, guys. We talk about everything that's happening in the world, but specifically to do with China. It's kind of like our What's News segment, but not. If yes. that makes sense. Now, something very interesting has happened recently with Lithuania. Um, go Lithuania! Lithuania! Woo! Yeah. Okay. Lithuania is pretty, pretty cool. Yes. Okay. In my book now, because yes. they've stood up to the CCP. By the way, there's some Lithuanian folk. Oh, I want to explain that in a second. Let's yeah, go back to that. Flag. Okay. I'll go back to that. Just okay. give me a second. Well, I, someone told us we had to check something. So just okay, you entertain just... everyone about Lithuania. Okay. All right. Tell them what happened. All right. Okay. So um, what happened in Lithuania is they basically formalized ties with Taiwan, which is fantastic. Recognizing Taiwan as a country now. More or less. Yeah. You have to understand how hard China has been working, um, you know, to basically convince the world that Taiwan is a part of mainland China. OK, they have this one China policy. And what they do is they bully countries into acknowledging that Taiwan is not an entity that can be dealt with. They have to deal with China. They did it with Africa, you know, my country, South Africa. I saw it happen because I got a lot of Taiwanese friends and growing up. They were telling me what was going on. And Taiwan had a, a huge Taiwanese population. It still has a fairly large one, but there's a lot of mainlanders there now in comparison. Mm -hmm. And they had um, close ties with the South African government. They had their own local newspaper in Taiwanese that was printed there, their own printing press there. You know, they had their own business forums. They had their own factories. Everything was like it was a, a very big thing. And then China came along and said, you want to be part of this BRICS thing? You want to be, you know, deal with us and have trade deals? You have to not recognize Taiwan anymore. And so China shut everything. I mean, South Africa shut everything down. China did actually shut them down. And the printing presses had to close. I remember I went to go see the big printing press machines. They were trying to see what they could do with them. They were just junk now because they couldn't use them anymore. But the newspapers shut down. All of the trade deals shut down. Everything to do with Taiwan shut down because Taiwan was no longer recognized as its own country. And this is what they've been doing around the entire world. They bully countries into saying, if you want to deal, do trade deals, you're not allowed to recognize Taiwan as yeah. a country. Yeah. If you want to get our vaccine diplomacy or whatever it is, 
Not allowed to recognize Taiwan as a country. Lithuania was like, screw that. We're going to recognize Taiwan and we want to do deals with Taiwan. And they didn't like that. And I'm going to pause that for a second because Gregory sent us a, a very good, nice chunk wow. on PayPal. And he says, name Greg, massive congrats on 100K on the podcast. I use half of this towards the cost of a new surveillance system uh, for the virus, Pushi, and other half on yourselves. And Thank we, you. We will do that. Absolutely, we'll do that. We're Thank trying you. to figure out how we're going to go because um, there was surveillance, but we got to set up something where that's like solar powered or something. Yeah, exactly. So something definitely. that they can't cut the power to and stuff. Yet. Don't you worry. Thank you very much. So Thank now you. let me get into uh, the that's Lithuania. Way. So yeah. what happened was mm -hmm. um, China got real pissed off. And to quote them, they started calling uh, Lithuania an evil little country. Evil little country. That's how you do diplomacy. That's how you, yeah. So they said they're an evil little country that's trying to, un trying to undermine the one China policy. China's an evil big country. Yes. So Lithuania, you know what their response was? Like most countries that, that say, oh, we're sorry, China. Oh, we'll grovel mm. to you. You know, we, we prefer your authoritarian dictatorship nightmare. Yes. To uh, a burgeoning, beautiful democracy that is Taiwan with human yeah. good human rights record. We, Lithuania said, we recall our ambassador from China. Yeah. And they said, get out. We are going to go all in with Taiwan. And Taiwan's like, hell yeah. yeah. And this is a huge turn. I know it's a small country, but a huge turn in such a big FU because Lithuania is passed with the Soviet Union. It's fresh enough to understand how bad it is yeah. to be subservient to a communist dictatorship, yes. right? And they will they will not forget that, and they will go forward. They've been pro-Europe, they've been pro-West instead of pro-Russia, pro pro-East. Yeah. And they are now going full on towards that. And congratulations, Lithuania, for being an awesome stand-up country for doing that. Yeah. Not because you're doing the bidding of the West, because you're standing up for your own personal beliefs. Yeah. In lieu of money and bullshit promises that the CCP throws. Yeah, now what did the CCP say? They said something about, like, um, encircling... What did they like say to the other countries need to encircle them and put an end to this? Yeah, so there? now they're calling on the rest of the neighboring Baltic states, yeah. right, to encircle Lithuania and pressure them into uh, what's it called? Into basically bending to the CCP's will, yeah. because the other countries have not decided to do this, right? Yeah. With Taiwan, they've they they still follow the one China policy. To be fair, so does America, so does the rest of the world. Sure. Um, with caveats. But Lithuania is the lone wolf here, and hopefully, and this is what China is very worried about, is that they inspire other countries to do the same thing in the name of human rights and in the in name of future, like actually just planning for the future. Right. Because uh, hedging your bets on China right now is probably a really bad idea. Yes, uh, yes. At least in the long term. So a little, we wanted to look a little bit into Lithuania here. They have a very interesting festival, by the way. Yes, it's can called, you explain what's going on? Yeah, with so this is called Ushkavenes. Mm -hmm. And Ushkavenes is a, uh, a Lithuanian festival that takes place before Easter. And what they do is kind of like Mardi Gras in a way. Right? Why is that Baba Yaga looking thing wearing bagels or donuts on a necklace? I, I have absolutely no idea. These are these are just things I found on Wikipedia. I just looked it up. Okay. So basically they burn an effigy of, of something called a amore. Uh -huh. And they burn it... Um, to kind of get ready, it's it's a staging a battle between a Porky, which is per personifying the winter, and a Hempen Man, which is per personifying the the spring. So that's how they bring in the new season. Mm. So they're burning these effigies. <laughs> I'm mm. sorry, some of these are amazing, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, get back. So to that, they yeah. burn these effigies to kind of bring spring in, mm. right? And it's it's an interesting thing because it's like a mix between like Christianity slash very old pagan rituals, right? Right. So this is some old European stuff, and I thought it was very fascinating to look at. I especially like the last picture. This, that's some haunting imagery on the right there. I have no idea what that's supposed to be, but it's actually quite scary. Mm. And I like that man on the right as well. Yeah, whatever floats your boat. Hey, it's you know? interesting. We yeah. learned a little bit about Lithuania. We wanted to say huge congratulations um, to Lithuania for doing that. Yeah. Well, fantastic. That's all we have uh, for the world news this yep. time around. Thank you, Lithuania, for standing up for what you believe is right and standing in the face of a bully. Yes. You know what I mean? But yeah, uh, yeah guys, uh, it's time for us to hit our Q&A. And that is where we answer your questions and you question our answers. So let's see what we've got in store for us. That is right. Sorry, I'm, I'm uh, catching up, catching up here. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so David Pei says, I see more Chinese friends on board of the fact that Xi Jinping is a job-killing nutcase. Mm. If you guys know, um, basically Xi Jinping is monopolizing the tech sector yes. and the education sector, and it's really bad for 
people that are in. Uh, yeah, you know, well. when I spoke about the Wall Street being shut down, I focused on the English teachers that are now going to have to leave. But what you have to understand is that each one of those branches is staffed by Chinese citizens, and a lot of them, not only for the admin side of things, but the recruiters, the people that run the place, the translators, everybody that's mm -hmm. involved is now lost a job. It's crazy how many people are losing their jobs in the education sector and the tech center, like you yeah, said. Uh, yeah. You know, it's just, it's it's awful. What's happening right now is a very bad move. And I think what's really going on is that Xi Jinping has got so much power that he just makes bad decisions and no one calls him out on these bad decisions. Yeah. Nobody has has the courage to stand up to him and say, we shouldn't do this. Because if they try to do that, they could be in serious trouble. Yeah. Yeah. So they just allow him to make bad decisions, and it's actually affecting the Chinese population the most. What well, you have to understand is that Xi Jinping's cronies, like his crew, all those yes men and stuff, they still get paid the same. Yeah. They, they, if not, when they, they uh, what's it called? When they uh, monopolize all these things, when they put full state control over this stuff, mm -hmm. they're the immediate benefactor. So they'd be like, why would Xi Jinping want to screw over his country like this? Yeah. It only bolsters his power in preparation for closing off China like they're planning on doing. Right. So there's no like, oh, they're damaging China. Oh, they're going to make it worse. Yeah, for everyone else, not for themselves. Sure. Right. Uh, and that's how the CCP operates. It's yeah. always the party first. Um, so anyway, yeah. Yeah, Jackasaurus says great leap backwards, and I agree. Correct, yeah. Uh, Mr. Breck says, if I see made in China on a product, I won't buy them since the pandemic. Um, and more, more, you need to talk, you need to think about how to diversify supply chains. Yeah. Like for the future. It's more about that. Um, but anyway, David Pei, you need to add brie cheese to that plate. Yeah, I love brie cheese. Also quite bland, but great. It's not bland. Brie cheese is not bland. It's bland. We, it's really, really We're still really in the conversation that you don't... One thing can be more bland than another Yeah, thing. but it's not bland. <laughs> Compared to other cheese, it is. That, whatever that provati, whatever that stuff, that's bland. That's pretty bland. Yeah. That's bland. Like There's no flavor. If, if it, it's like if you take water and you boil it and you drink it... <laughs> oh, you it, mean the, the Indian cheese? Yeah, yeah. That had yeah, no yeah. flavor. Not havarti, yeah. If you take water, you boil it, and then you add more water to it, <laughs> And then you drink it. That was That's bland. bland. No, that, that, what is that? Uh, uh, that cheese, whatever it's called. Oh, we have another cheese we forgot to eat, dude. Oh, yes. We got one more. Here, pull that up. You're making me eat this crap. Okay, that, what is this? Is Show the camera. Ka yeah. Kaffir cheese. So this is... how you say it? Kaffir. Yeah, kaffir, yeah. So I gotta be careful saying, saying that. Is kaffir. this good? I don't know. Um, Just like it turned... It... The AC turned off again. Why? We're, we're dying in here. Okay, anyway. so here's your spoon. We're going to have to use the spoon for this. So what kind of cheese is this? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Yuri Geller? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you don't have better spoons in your house? I do. I don't know what happened. I got mad or something. Yeah. Nice. This is, this is what he brings to the office is Yuri Geller's props. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's try this quickly. Okay, all right. Mm. Kind of tastes like yogurt. It is. It's not. It's kafir is yogurt. It says kafir cheese. Yeah. It's definitely not bland though. It's sour. That is straight up just yogurt. It's yeah, but it says cheese. Look at it there on the on the label. I get that, but I also think that is literally yogurt. That's very warm. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna die? We'll get salmonella or something. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, not. Good. I don't like warm. <laughs> People are like, kefir is yogurt. It says kefir cheese. So maybe it's a special kind of cheese made out of this yogurt. It just tastes like yogurt, bro. That's just, <laughs> it just a warm yogurt. That's pretty much what it was. It said cheese. I took it out the, the fridge, okay? Kefir is not cheese. Well, it said kefir cheese. You want me to bring that out again? Look, everybody. It's plain yogurt. It says. Okay, can you read that? Kefir cheese. It's so not cheese. It's just yogurt. It says cheese, though, but it does taste like yogurt. I'll yeah. agree with you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lol, kefir is yogurt. But it's got a cow. It's got a cow on there, too. Yogurt's made of cows. Isn't yogurt milk. a bacteria? Yeah, in, in milk. It's like a culture. Yeah. It says, ingredients. What is wrong with this air conditioning? I don't know. Cultured cream, milk, non-fat milk, ultra-filtered lactose, reduced non-fat dairy milk, and enzyme. <laughs> and lactose Okay, it's got, it's got enzyme. So, you know, you know it's good when it's got enzyme. Why is it so hot in here? I don't know. 
Maybe you got to set that temperature to like max. No, I turn, it just took a while for the signal to go. Oh, okay, all right. Freaking cool. office is horrible. Yeah. Anyway, um, mm. yeah. So, uh, mm. Mimi says thinking bishop cheese. Oh, okay. I haven't I had that. that means. Kenshin eight ninety one. Say what you want about cheese. At least no Western society produced virgin boy egg. Oh yeah. Well yeah. To There's, be fair, that's a small town in Hunan. It's yeah, but it is a thing where yeah. They shops will usually pay um, like mothers, and what they do is they bring a, a little boy. It's got to be a virgin boy, and he actually pisses on the eggs. We're not they making put him this in buckets in school. Yeah, we're we're not making this up. Okay, they buy um, virgin boy piss and urine. And let's say urine. I'll be a bit more classy. They take urine, and then they use the urine to boil the eggs like a tea egg, and it is a specialty that's eaten in China in certain parts of China, Hunan, like you said. But it is. It's urine-soaked eggs are a specialty. Yeah, I mean, they literally put buckets in the hallways of schools so that boys can, little boys can pee on them, and then they cook. You can't make this up. It's not made up, and we've got footage. Look it up. Type in urine know, eggs. Yeah, yeah, urine eggs or something in China. We can't show any of this stuff. In fact, obviously, we, we don't have the footage. No. We, you know, that gets oh, we sent. Have, it. I've actually never been there. Yeah, we get sent the footage, and yeah. it's like, what is this? You can't. It's like, you know, gross. It's literally buckets of pee with eggs in them. Mm. It's disgusting. Yeah, exactly. There he says, someone is like, you know, uh, soil and green, but it's people, <laughs> you know. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Sorry. <clears throat> um, Shays Shaze says the Swiss Cheese Council has entered the chat. Nice. That yogurt was very it's actually warm. Not, it's not very good. It's got a yeah. It's, it should be cold. It should. Well, it was when I bought it into Hours the office ago, this, this morning. morning. Yes, it's been we're sitting and die. No, we're fine. Warm yogurt's okay. I'm kind of 100% sure that's not. When you have Turkish food or, you know, Middle Eastern, Mediterranean yeah, actually food. Actually, I had some yesterday. Yeah. yeah, you know. Afghan food's amazing, by yeah. the way. I had some yesterday. So but, good. But, dude, it's got yogurt and you're like putting warm yeah, that's meat true. and that's stuff true. in. So that's don't true. talk nonsense. It was cold yogurt, though. It doesn't matter. It's warm meat. Cold yogurt and warm meat. It's like, stop. Anyway, let's continue. So good, though. It's, yeah. It's, uh, but it's yogurt so... and meat is amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's continue, please. Uh, uh, Dieter Ski says, Alex from Xinjiang said, you guys can have cheese from under his scrotum. Okay. Did he really say that? I don't know. Anyway. What a, what a mean man. Yeah. Uh, Lexi Rudd says, Dieter Ski loves CCP scrotum. Hmm. Oh, cool. Hey, we got a new member, Chris uh, McGrath. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. New member. Jordan Laramore. It's all about that. Oh, yeah. We opened up memberships. Can I say that? Yeah, yeah, we did. So we had 100K, and I noticed that we, we have memberships. So if you click join next to subscribe, it costs like a small amount of money every month. But what happens is you get priority in the chat. Yep. And you get so a little thing next to your... But your, look, I'll, yeah. I'll actually read... I'll start reading members' chats because I didn't... I just realized it just dawned on me today that we have them. Uh, They'll probably like turn Cesario up. Like JPN says, yogurt is made of cows. See Milk 2021. So yeah. I can see it. Shows like members. Um, yeah, yogurt is made of cows. But the easiest way is super chess. Yeah. But anyway, both are great. They'll pop. They should the pop up in there too. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah let's take Jordan Laramore. It's all about that pepper jack cheese. I ate pepper jack a couple days ago. Great cheese. You it like is pepper jack. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. European. It's very food. American. Mm. It's very American. Yeah, but it tastes good. It's spicy. It's nice. It's very American. You're it's nice. very American. Swiss Jonathan. cheese is better in my opinion. It tastes nicer on a bagel. You know what's really good? It's here in America. They've got pretzel bagels. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but it's so good. You are really into it's, those. They're good though. It's like a it's like a bagel with but it tastes like a pretzel on the outside. You put Swiss cheese in that, a little bit of ham or whatever, some cold meats. I agree. Can't go wrong. Bagels are great. Bagels are You're amazing. a big bagelman. I love bagels. Um, Jonathan Lau, do you think China had any influence on Australia or New Zealand's COVID policy? Zero COVID with harsh lockdowns. Mm. It's hard to say. Maybe. Maybe not. Mm. Uh, sneakers are, I'm burping up some warm yogurt. It's fine. You keep doing that. Drink your drinks. Phil, so. I know you don't have any left. Phil mm. H, Cardi C <laughs> to celebrate with Canas. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for her. <laughs> Rum Runners is bad joke of the week. Yes, always, always. Yeah, yeah. Why do anarchists hate Vietnamese food? Because they're antifa. <laughs> wow. Antifa. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, because pho is the proper way to pronounce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, like noodles. It's called pho in Vietnam. You're gonna get so many. That's the joke. Dot jpegs thrown it's, at you right now. Yeah, I know. It's great. Mimi says my name is really Wilson Edwards. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nice. That's awesome. Uh, Dieter Ski says you need a graphic with Xi Jinping and Mimi Xi. Okay. Uh, Ryan 
Jones says, thank you all for studying my thoughts. It's Ryan Jones. <laughs> <of the years. laughs> thank Ryan. you. Steak uh, Picado 86. My dear friend Ryan, who is always crying. That's right. Frederico Dell, a new, new member. member. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, Canadian Greg, check PayPal, mate. We did. We read your Yeah, thing. thank Thanks you so much. much. David Pace is Xi Jinping's English name. Habit close apple. Yeah, if you um, if you translate it yeah. correctly. Xi Guan the Xi. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. Uh, Folkenstall, you're killing me. General Swiss cheese does not exist. Ever than one of them has a name. We know this. <laughs> Come on, course. we're in America. Yeah, <laughs> we get it. We have all of these too. Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce them, but Gruyere. Uh, Emmental is awesome. Of course, I ate that yeah. all the time. Yeah. Appen, Appenzeller and Till, Tillister. We get it. Swiss cheese is the one with the holes in it. It did not have a name. It's <laughs> not original Swiss cheese. <laughs> we get that. Please file a complaint with your government. They've been on top of things, especially <laughs> yeah. calling out fake biologists. Yeah, exactly. Um, Ed G, love the cheese taste segment. Thank mm. you very much. Excellent. We'll have more in the future when we disagree on another food. Sure. We'll have to come up with another food disagreement. <laughs> yeah, They're about to happen. Oh, all the time. Bjarni Christiansen says, Ryan, the chairman of CC Cheese. <laughs> the perfect system with no holes in it. That's, <laughs> that's pretty that's, good. That's great. Yeah. Uh, some good human Iceland, apparently. F of X says, I'm spinning euros just to remember you guys. That there's remind more than you guys. One, uh, sorry, remind you guys that there's more than one kind of Swiss cheese. We know. Yeah. You just called it Swiss. What kind is that? Yes, we're talking about the American dumb gen, you know, definition of this. Sure. Uh, try your uh, Gruyere or Appenzeller next time. Peace, a frustrated European. We pissed yes. off a lot of people with this. <laughs> Dude, I'm, but I'm all for Swiss cheese. Even, so I'm even okay just, with I don't hate it. You, you say it's insipid. <laughs> You're, what are you? Uh, I almost called you someone we don't want to mention. Yeah, it's okay. I'm missing my words over here. Right. Ox the Ark, thank you very much for the emoji. Uh, mm-hmm. Ava Rayner says, Barrett's are scamming people selling Forsyth pills. Yeah, that's. Is this what, a new one? No, that's at oh, Lian, okay. Lianhua Chingwen. I'm pretty Jude sure. Law was selling the exact same stuff on Kitten Contagion. Life imitates art, am I right? If there's a new video, please send it, find a way to send it to us yeah. or put it on the subreddit. Yeah. Uh, Lexi Red says, let's say Ryan. Uh, rest, rest in pieces tomorrow what would happen is there like a second dictator how does that work yes there's many yeah, there's many plen- plenty to step up to the plate don't worry ross is well, doesn't this doesn't necessarily mean, mean they'll be better either hmm. ross wolf is she's body double called body double called the b ryan <laughs> b ryan yeah <laughs> I, I don't get it that's a famous uh person oh, well. okay yeah. gotcha. hanamaru alice hey c milk and winston i'm just curious uh, who would have deemed would it have been deemed racist if the entire world turned away Chinese people who traveled to their countries in the Wuhan virus at the initial start of the pandemic? That's not even a, a question. It's not right. about Chinese people. It's about anyone coming from the country of China where there's an outbreak. You know, when there's like the Ebola outbreak happening, you stop flights coming from that general area. It's not area. racially It's motivated. not racially. But that's what they played on, remember? Yeah, yeah. They were. That, like when people were saying, like, we got to stop these flights, countries that were saying that were being called racist. Yeah. And I guess they can try and pull that thing because China is such a homogenous yeah, kind sure. of a country. Guess, so yeah. everybody coming out of there would be Chinese mostly. Right. You know, so they could say, oh, you just don't want Chinese people to travel. That's never the case. No. Because, you know, Taiwan is not where it started. Those no. people are Chinese ethnically too. Yep. No one said, don't let anyone from Taiwan fly. No, in. it's from that area. And the, the thing yeah. is, what you, what a lot of you guys don't understand is that China was being assholes to people from Wuhan. Everyone was like, yeah. screw Wuhan. They locked them off. They didn't locked leave. them off. They weren't allowed to fly to Beijing or nope. Shanghai. Or, they were locked down, but they were allowed to fly internationally. So... You know, with China, what's good for the goose is not good for the gander. You know what I mean? Right. Correct. Agree. Yeah. Uh, why, Truth Seeker says, why does China beat USA in human rights freedom? Why doesn't? Yeah. Why, who can be the best government? Let the gold, uh, let's award gold to the winner. Watch the CCP fall flat on their faces. That's true. Yopala 250 says, Ryan is the name of a well-known mascot in Korea. He's kind of a yellow bear cat, if you know what I mean. Oh, interesting. Okay. Look up Ryan of Cacao Friends. Okay. Is that like uh, Winnie the Pooh? Let's have a look uh, real quick. I'll, I'll look it up. You get the it's next okay. one. It's okay. I just I got it right here. Look. Uh, kind of oh. looks like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Canadian Greg, check PayPal, mate. Yeah, we got it. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank <laughs> you. Sign Ryan Schiesling. <laughs> Nancy Voker, thank you very much. Return to Orc Monkey. Super Chats need to allow new line characters. Lol, there's a haiku for our Wuma friends. I'll read it. Beloved comrade, dear leader of many thoughts. His name is Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And yes, I know haiku is Japanese. Part of what make, makes dedicating it to our Uma friends so satisfying. Yeah, they're not going to like that. 
Dieter Ski says, damn, this podcast is like 100% Biden approved. Don't what makes you think that? that? Is that because we're incoherent with our words and sometimes make mistakes? Apparently. So sorry, <laughs> JPN, off topic. Count Dankula. Always make mistakes. Claimed that internet meme celebrity Chris Chan was trending on so Chinese social media given his recent events. If true, how would this happen even with CCP censorship? I'm not sure. Who's Chris Chan? It wouldn't. Um, is that Chris Wu? I mean, I, that other guy? That Chris Wu? No. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but no, it wouldn't be trending if they blocked it. That's, yeah. that's bullshit. <clears throat> uh, but I'm not saying it's bullshit that he said that. I don't know the, the circumstances. But if China, if China blocks something, it's done. Right. Tyler Freeman, uh, there's an echo in, our, in your audio. Not anymore. <laughs> Daniel Wilcox, when I was living in China from 2000 to 2002, Rod Stewart's sailing was played 24-7 yeah. on radio, English radio stations in Dongguan. I fired many translators and drivers for playing that song <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> Yeah. PB, God's voice naturally echoes when he speaks. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's very it's, nice. Isn't it more like reverberates, but okay. Ozzy Baby says, Sir Pizzade, your wife is beautiful with respect. Thank you. Appreciate um, that. Ross Wolf says, Ryan Seacrest. Seacrest. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Midtown yeah. Mike, uh, thank you. We read here. Zero fun. Can we start a Mando rap scene in the U.S. that kind of has a lyrical subtext equating to Tom and Jerry without subtitles? Don't know. Yeah. That's very deep. Rum Runner, Winston should do a video about that time the South African government officially denied that AIDS existed. That was pure insanity. Well, it was actually the president. Yeah, that was Said insane. HIV doesn't cause AIDS. That was yeah. what he um, said. You can just take a shower. Um, no, that was the other one. Oh, it Tabo and Becky, the guy before him, because obviously the guy had AIDS and I think he was in denial. Or he had HIV, he was in denial. So he's like, oh, HIV does not cause AIDS. Wow. And that's the president telling the whole nation. He's wow. probably just trying to reassure himself, really. Yeah. Tyler Freeman, uh, there's a delay on how YouTube gives out the content. People pause the stream and then hit it later. Sometimes I like to abuse the input stream. Um, have you ever had the same question over and over in a glitchy way? I have no, you just glitched no. my brain. No, no. I have no idea what you just said. Mimi, uh, you could do us some mods to help with the Woo Mouse. We do have mods in Yeah, here. thank you. Best to choose volunteers from amongst your high level, high level patrons. Thank well, you. Of course, very, very happy. Mm. Warm yogurt is not good. It's, I'm, I'm fine. Here, have some gum. Oh, good idea, actually. Dave Newfeld says China will now bland Swiss cheese, but it's banned. Banned, yeah, banned Swiss cheese. Yeah, maybe they will. Um, Hejo Severe guy says, Air China, Ryan Air. <laughs> 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 it's Ryan Air. Yeah, yeah. PB, will propaganda karaoke become a thing now? It already it, is. It is. Oh, that's um, propaganda there's knows. a lot of they're called red songs yeah. you know? I used to sing red songs yeah, yeah for fun which for are just like communist songs and they're pretty awful sounding a lot of them <laughs> yeah, yeah that's a Lei Feng song yeah I know I, I know um, I don't study Lei Feng I'm not actually telling you I'm telling them okay yeah uh, Hantas Farmer says the big question is will rap change the CCP or will the CCP change rap I think the former change yeah. from fight the power to uphold communism yeah that's what they'll force it to be there's a lot of talented rappers in China, but they can't say anything of value. It's kind of shitty because the whole point of rap as a as a art form it came about as rebellion. being kind of rebellion. But in China, it's more like conformity. Yeah. Mm. I hear Nick for more cheese ASMR and request beer flight tasting. Cool. But we don't disagree necessarily. It has to be something we disagree on. Well, you love IPAs and I think they taste awful. Yeah, but I don't think I'll ever convince you. Like we've done that test hundreds of times. Yeah. We never sat down and ate cheese together. No, that's true. You know. It's the first time. Oh, Uyghur people in ET, thank you very much. Or Return to Orc Monkey, another haiku. Pure speed sonic dong. Fastest dong in CCP. He is very proud. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love these. Yeah. These are great. Yeah. Uh, Koala 1203, hashtag justice for Michael. Yes. Indeed. Canadian Greg, you guys are liars. The Swiss biologist lives in the great Chinese mountains that they advertised a few months ago. Keep trying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Um, Berg -g 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 -g. thank you for talking about China. I happened to find you two when I started learning Chinese in May. I just want to say hello. Cool. Um, he's worried that there's a, this uh, could be a safe space for white supremacy. Try not to do that, please. And absolutely not. We have a zero tolerance for any racism. Well, not only on our, our subreddit, but you got to understand well. that there it doesn't matter. Everybody comes from a different background, and we don't want to dissuade anyone from taking a part in this conversation, no matter what side they're on. Of course, any kind of like racial hate or anything like that's not tolerated. But at the yeah. same time, we don't want to say like everyone is just has to be banned. We allow Wu Mao into the stream, so you know do. we allow everybody as everyone. long as 
As long as there's a, a modicum of respect towards each other, yeah, it doesn't matter what your background is. If you're is being your a beliefs, dick, then screw it's pretty yourself. much. But, so, yeah. Um, what I wanted to say about that mm. is that's you know the, I was gonna say something. What? We're not a safe haven for anyone. We are. No, I was gonna say a huge major, a huge chunk of mm. our. Uh, what you have to understand is the people that we deal, with, especially behind closed doors, are Chinese dissidents that need help. Mm. And you have to understand that we can't put them out there and be like the poster child of a rainbow audience that we have. They're literally running away from the Chinese government. Yeah, it's not about that anyway. It's all about people having a discussion Correct. and being able to, you know, have get some kind of a, a result from all of this. Either learn something or help effect some kind of change. That's yes. what we're really after here. And, and it you, doesn't matter where you come from or what your background is. Correct. As long as you're, you know willing to have a discussion and, and not be an asshole. My, my point is if you would mm. ever come to one of our subscriber meetups, you would be shocked that l quite literally everyone is from every single country yeah. and every race yes. equally. Yeah. In hot water, what will China, China's fate in Afghanistan be? Probably not a great one. No. We're just going to have to see how they handle that situation. Patrick T says, what is the true state of the Chinese economy based on your perspective? In China, the so-called rise of more propaganda? Yeah. Um, By the way, I love your work. Absolutely. It's a lot of smoke and mirrors. And what's going on is the, the Chinese government is constantly changing the numbers and putting up facades and things to try and make it look as if things are going very well, especially when they're not going well. They push very hard to pretend that it is going well. Right. But a lot of people are kind of just following along because they've got this promise that things are going to be OK. And uh, they just keep going along with it. But there's a lot of uh, debt right now. There's a lot of things that could be happening um, any minute, you know. This just in. Oh, <laughs> What is this? <laughs> Mushroom Wizard says, do you think if some state or private hackers would take down the Great Firewall, it would have a big impact on Chinese popular opinion? Yeah. Like if they were able to see the true internet or world? Um, some, some. Some. It's tough. I mean, they block so much. I don't think um, a lot of Chinese people would be able to really digest what they see if it was what, The Chinese up. Chinese language media that goes against the CCP, which there is a lot of, um, yeah. would become accessible and that would slowly take Yeah, take that's hold. that's what would really yeah. work. Because, you know, the language barrier, most English uh, websites and stuff wouldn't be read anyway. No, but you would... I mean, there are already a lot of dissident papers and, yeah. and sources out there. Think about all the Chinese language stuff we yeah. see. Yeah. Um, Cesario, JPN. New member. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Dead Shark, thank you. Thank you, new, new member. member. Yeah. Better with rum. Beer fund money, guys. Taiwan number one. All we need to do is stop buying Chinese products. Um, better with rum. Thank you, mm -hmm. Johnny thank Azul. You, yes. Thanks, Winston, for sharing your family history in South Africa. Sending big hugs to your brave parents. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Ozzy Baby, YouTube plug a premium membership to skip ads. Most of your videos get demonetized, but does this screw content creators? Yeah, we barely get anything from the premium stuff. But, you know, you it's, get something. it's still something. So, yeah. yeah, I very, very much appreciate your support no matter what you, yeah. get, you do. Yeah. Canadian Greg, can't wait for the diswrap from Cardi C Cotton Milk. Maybe. You think that's going to come? No. It would be amazing, though. Yeah. I would love to have a friendly rap battle with her. Yeah. It would be so good. Um, Cardi C guest appearance. I don't think the state would allow that. So no, we would not want to put her in No, in it's trouble. no harm to her. Yeah, she might get arrested she or something. She actually seems like a pretty nice girl, too. Mm. She really does, like from her vlogs. She sure. seems like a sweet girl. Your doppelganger. Out of curiosity, did Mike have any interesting stories about North Korean refugees? Keep up the great good work. He did. I don't know how much we should share, though. Mm. No, we actually not have really. Like, not really. Like, not really. Like, what? What do you mean? He wasn't really talking about North Korea. Not refugees. him, but no. when we were around, we yeah, met yeah. people. Yeah, I'm we saying. did. We met people in his presence. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, that's the thing. The guy is just a really, really nice, solid bloke. Yeah. And all he was doing was uh, cultural exchange. He took us to, like, a North Korean restaurant yeah. and acted as a translator. translator for us. And we spoke to the North Koreans that were working there. And it was, it was awesome. all great. Yeah. And had a super good time with him, you know. We did. Yeah. Veal999 says, much appreciation for your garbage and trash video. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Jack O'Brien, I loved your adventures in the past, but I think what you're doing now is more important. Thank you. We that hope so. actually means a lot. Yeah, because we hope we've matured. You know, you're young and you're adventurous and you do all this. It doesn't mean we're not going to go on more adventures in the future, but, you know, different priorities back then compared yes. to now. George Hazard, new member. Thank Yay. you. <laughs> Brandon Gingy, new member. Thank, Thank you. you. Dan Heim, greetings. Greetings, mate. Jack Asaurus, thank you. Yes. New member. Meerkat in training, new member. It's Meerkat in training, nice. Uh, Canadian Greg, could Lithuania rename all China-related things by law to mainland Taiwan and Taiwanese products, uh, Taiwan, obviously. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm they sure they could. 
Canadian Greg says bagels are typically related to Jewish people. I hope that wasn't a Jew mask. We hope not either. You'll have to take it up with Wikipedia. Yeah, we'll have to figure it out. Uh, Richard Haysom, you should put together a medley of songs that are banned by the CCP with she's 14 new rules as banners in the background forcing the shills to ban it. Mm, interesting. Nyan Ray says some Swedish crowns or kroner for the cheese tray. Thank you very much. I like that crowns. It's like an old RPG game. It's or cool, something. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, give yeah, me it's like, like medieval six crowns. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All of the Scandinavian currency is like that. It's really kroner, cool. Yeah. Dieter Ski, if you guys don't eat Limburger, I'll never watch you again. I've actually no. never had Limburger. Limburger cheese. I'm pretty sure I've had it before. Mm. It's the one that you like every show in the '90s made fun of. Oh, okay. Like Limburger cheese. Is that bad. like Rush Limburger or something? No. Okay. <laughs> no, it's just because it smells bad. Right. Um, Lexi Red, GE, not GM. Yes. Oh. General oh. Electric. Yeah, sorry. Not the entire company, but the sale is the third largest acquisition of the US. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. By Chinese investors. Yeah. We love you guys. Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, PB, PP, People's Boiled Eggs. Yes. Mike says, does Chinese state media highlight anti-Asian racism in Western countries to discourage immigration of highly educated yes. Chinese like you wouldn't even believe? They make it seem as if it's like any any Chinese person who steps off a plane in the U.S. Yeah. is going to get attacked. And I know this because it worked very well on yeah. even my wife coming yeah. here. So many people sending her uh, and telling her that, that she'd be racially discriminated against. And it really kind of made me angry, but I kept quiet about it because I knew that once she had actually lived here for a while and interacted with people, she'd know that it's a bunch of bullshit, which it is. We have never once ever had any kind of racially motivated experience ever here in the States. Mm -hmm. which and that's great. not to say it doesn't exist. Of course. But the thing is, like, it, that kind of thing does exist. But by and large, it doesn't. You right, know? right. Yeah, like on the not the, like what they try to say on in, WeChat and stuff. All yeah, the time. like it's like absolutely is gonna happen. Yeah, to you. yeah, exactly. So don't go. They're gonna blame you for COVID and beat you right, up. That's right. what they telling people. And while the isolated cases have happened, that they make it sound like that is a guaranteed experience for you to yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's it's despicable what they do. Right. Um, is the CCP worried about mass immigration? Well, look at the numbers. I mean, the, look at the amount of asylum seekers under Xi Jinping. Yeah, it's crazy. The Can Opener Podcast. Thank you Thank for a uh, new membership. Thank you Excellent. very much. Return to Work Monkey. I can't rap, but I can write raps. If I write one in response to two sessions, can I post it in the subreddit or is it against... Hey, go ahead. Of course. Please. The subreddit rules are don't repost news over and over again and don't talk about American politics because it's annoying. Yeah. There's plenty of other places to do that. Lou True. M. Uh, thank you very much. Lexi Rad, new member. Yes. Uh, thank you. Laura Lawrence Batista, new member. Mushroom thank Wizard, you. new... Wow, this is amazing. This is Look fantastic. Thank you, guys. World Traveler 232, why are CCP shills uh, after you guys only when, only only you, when there are other critical YouTubers like Chris Chappell, Tiffany Meyer, and China Observer? We don't understand no, that either. I, I'll tell you why. It's because they're more afraid of our opinions. That's because people like Chris Chappell, who have a fantastic show, by the way, mm -hmm. they didn't live in China. They don't sure. have the footage that we took ourselves personally and the first-hand experiences dealing with China. So what they can always say is like, oh... You've never been to China, so you don't know what's going on to people like that's that, the, yeah, right? That's their go-to. The difference is we lived in China for more than a decade each, right? Hmm. Uh, combined 20-odd years. You can't do that. I know, but like, <laughs> you could say that you if you could, wanted yeah. to. But, you know, I lived for 14 years and you for 10 plus years. And we had a lot of experiences that most foreigners don't even have in China. Like, for instance, we both owned cars, which is rare amongst foreigners to be able to buy your own car, register your own car and drive around. So that's something we've done. We both married local women. We had families. We had to deal with a different set of visas, a different set of circumstances, having to be accepted with, into a Chinese family, go to Chinese family events, get a deep insight into the culture. And travel we, the entire country. Yeah, we both traveled the entire country built. on our own motorcycles, which meant we weren't just going on tours you know government sponsored tours to like tourist locations we saw the real china yeah that's we got to see everything so they're afraid of our experience they're afraid because when we say something we're not just reading a headline and saying oh china's like this sure we might be able to read a headline but we say yes that rings true with our experiences that we had with that exact same topic we know china very well and that's why they attack us because they can always dismiss someone else as saying oh they've never been to china right. You know what I mean? Correct. That's, yeah, the that's, reason. A, that's a good point. Cam Max, 1969. Thank you very much for membership. Mm -hmm. Han W, our man. Question for both of you guys. No budget limit. To dream two-car garage. Love, worth, swifts. Please keep up the good work. Go ahead. You can go first. Uh, 1971 uh, Plymouth Cuda. Okay. All right. With uh, Hemi and a shaker. 
Uh, and uh, I don't know what the second one would be. It's so tough. Probably, isn't yeah. it? Probably yeah. a Trans Am that I already have. That's okay. So 19, still... yeah, 1978 uh, Pontiac Trans Am, uh, but not not the Bandit Jobby. It's got to be my own like color scheme. Still black though, but different. Kind of like what I'm doing with mine. But it's got to be great, and I got to be able to put whatever engine I want in it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mine's a 1989 Porsche 911 Turbo. Mm -hmm. And my second car would probably be like a Lamborghini Miura, something old like that. Oh, cool. Um, Dieter Ski, thumbs up to World Traveler. Okay. Phil, guys, why is Jackie Chan so pro CCP? Is he a true believer? I loved him as a kid. Didn't he realize, did, doesn't realize, he realized he's ruining my child. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we also were very disappointed. Yeah. I think he's just hedging his bets with it's like the winning the team. Is. Yeah, I mean, like, if you're a Hong Konger against the CCP, you're you're done. Yeah. You're dead. But there'll be so many, like, business opportunities for him and so on. If oh, he, yeah. If he sucks the jiba of the CCP. Agreed. Mm. Um, Louis Pizarro, thank you very much. New member. Yeah. Mimi says, uh, have you ever, Winston, have you ever tried a toasted sliced bagel with cream cheese, thin sliced smoked salmon, sliced bull tomato, and coarse ground black pepper on top? I recommend you try it. I have tried exactly that, and it's amazing. Have you? Oh, nice. Yeah, it's really that's good. I have a, tried exactly that. What's a bull tomato? It's a tomato that's not normal. Okay. I, I'm lying because like the tomato I had in there may not be a bull tomato, but oh, okay. it is a, it's a tomato. So yeah, it's not a tomato. It's a tomato. Yeah, whatever. Um, um, <laughs> anyway, what is it? Oh yes, and I actually have had that. It's like this Italian type tomato, right? Oh, okay. It says weird things. It looks like an exploded pumpkin or something. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I see that. Massive. But yeah, I've had everything that you said there, and it's great. That's great. Yeah. Um, da, 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 da. Boy Cochina says, Manchengo and Parmesano. Peace out. Okay. Of course. Cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, George Hazard, it's nice to see people spam messages like Uyghur Genocide in, twi in Twitch streams nowadays, meaning that the information is spreading fast, and that's yeah, great. It is good. When the normies can kind of get the, their hands on good information like that, yeah. it's good. Keo Williams, thank you. Jack Lynn just found out that Winston made it on Wikipedia. Grats, that was a long time ago. You know what? So did Sea Milk, but they, they managed took it to shut. I didn't make my Wikipedia. No, article. neither did I make mine. There was a huge battle. The Woolmiles, for the longest time, tried to delete my uh, Wikipedia article because there's some Woolmiles that are pretty high editors on Wikipedia. And it got so ridiculous where they were changing my Wikipedia to say, he is a racist South African, blah, 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 anti China smear, this and that. And it kept being deleted and then being reinstated and people deleted the whole page and put it up for deletion. It was a huge thing and it went on for like a year of back and forth until finally the mods were like, whatever's going on with this page is bullshit. And they just blocked any editing to it and kind of put it in its current state. And it's kind of stayed that way. Right. Um, but during that whole time, they went after uh, uh, you know, Wikipedia page and managed to get it uh, deleted because at the time he had less articles because you need... You need to have real presence in different, um, you know, magazines and newspapers or whatever online articles that are legit, uh, for in order for you to have a Wikipedia page. Right. Um, and so Seamilk had, um, but at the time that this started years ago, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he didn't have enough articles or something, so that was grounds for it to be removed, and so they did remove it. Man, did they really screw yours up? You're looking at like a, an archive.org of your or an old one. <laughs> you want to? We not gonna read that, are we? I'm a uh... wait. So this he's just found his. This is what his um his thing looked like. His Wikipedia page looked like before it was deleted. Um, my personal information is I'm 74 years old from Bosnia. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm four foot two, and my spouse is my left hand. <laughs> okay. My left. I don't I'm know. I'm right-handed. If yeah. I was jerking off, wouldn't I use my right sure. hand? Um, and then it says, Sex Haver Bosnia 3000 <laughs> spammed over and That's over your and over again. Yeah. I won't read some of the other stuff. It's a little, it's it's a a little gross, graphic. Yeah. Yeah. I have 69 views in one subscriber. Yeah, oh, so that's... you can see, look, Wikipedia is a huge mess, but uh, sure. thank you for finding me on Wikipedia. That's cool. Yeah, I'm, I quite like it. It was quite profile. quite a crazy... That was... Yeah, anyway. It's a good one. I like got to bring you back. Someone's got to make a new one. Someone make me a new Wikipedia because apparently I'm not allowed to have one. They, they removed everything. Yeah. And yet some douchebag shill got to have his fucking profile up. Yeah. That was the whole thing. Mm. Uh, anyway. Yeah, it was pretty rich. I remember. It was pretty rich of that. Fucker. Yeah, anyway. Fucking made his... Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's your opinion on the latest India-China border standoff? Tan Mei Kulkarni. Um, 
Well, we're just going to have to good. see what comes out of it. And I'd love to do an actual segment on that at some point. Chinese, uh, sorry, cheese chewing ASMR, please. <laughs> okay. Your doppelganger. Thank member. you. Thank you. Member. Marco Kane says, I'm Ryan and so is my wife from the life of Ryan. Oh, interesting. Uh, VL999, thank you very much. Venus Spreen, thank you very much. Uh, Savi Sheila, thank you very much. Excellent. Peter Ski, who cares about your cars? Uh, Mimi says, I meant buffalo, to buffalo tomato, not bull tomato. Oh. Buffalo tomato is just a big tomato. Dope. Okay, well, bull tomato is a tomato, is a, is a real thing too. It is. We just Googled mm. it. Lou M, Inside the Story is doing a show on the Michaels right now. Update on Chris Wu, please. We haven't been following the Chris Wu thing. I apologize. Yeah. Celebrity drama is not really our our wheelhouse he's in a lot of trouble though but he is he got canceled because he had sex stuff happen to him like me yeah. too shit right yeah yeah but it's bad because he's in china and that's yeah if they want to go after you yeah i mean if he did what he's being accused of being done then he deserves it for sure absolutely. you know but at the same time we got to keep an eye on that yeah. see see if it's politically motivated or not yeah oh i don't know what happened to the screen there interesting oh yeah it's, it's kind of interesting <laughs> it's isn't it very <laughs> uncle kitchener says with Iran going deeper in the whole of China, I see another major conflict brewing in the Middle East again. I just want to go see my grandma. No, it's I'm awful. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and Jed Brown, the last one. Admire and appreciate you both greatly for content and truth. Just wanted to ask some of your old favorite old school PC games, if any. Oh, man. I, go ahead. I oh. grew up with... Uh, well, I started on a Commodore 64 and an XT and all that kind of stuff. Um, definitely the Sierra games. Without a doubt, all the old Sierra games, I absolutely love them. Uh, that's kind of my bread and butter growing up so you can think of all the old space quests and quest for glory and those kind of things i absolutely love those so especially the ones where you type you know the type mm -hmm. parser i love those ones so yeah old uh, old quest games i'm six years younger so a little a little more in the future yeah um i played a lot of those mm -hmm. absolutely but i'm mostly fond of the stuff that from my like 10 11 12 year uh, age so that was like 2010 or something <laughs> just yeah. do that wow now, just Sorry, you, you youngsters and whippersnappers no. with your... Talking more like 1994, that yeah. era. So like the first Tomb Raider, mm. like Tomb Raider 1 through 3 is like my bread and butter. You catch me playing that on my old classic yeah, yeah, Mac yeah, yeah. sometimes that's, that's that we have a, in our that's office. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say classic, like early 3DFX games. That's my go-to. Dude, I was nostalgic. one of the first people in South Africa to have a Diamond Monster Voodoo, the right. first one. My friend and I, we uh, imported it. There was this lame place. It was called like was sky they called themselves skynet or something like of terminator they called them that's what they call themselves <laughs> skynet electronics or nice. something and we we both like clubbed in our money to import one of these things so that we could play like these new games it. but then we got all those 3d effects patches for all the games you know amazing tomb raider had Blew a 3d effects patch yeah, yeah quake quake one all these yeah, i remember so that cool. shit yeah i love that amazing stuff all right um mm. let's let's yeah. say bye there, oh, there's one more super chat there that uh, says, Com says yeah. go ahead. Communist, communism is strongest when they produce propaganda, weakest when they start to believe it themselves. Oh, That's Ultima. Ultima Online. Massive. Huge. My life. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Guys, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. You have no idea how much this means to all of us that you support us. And of course, I hope you realize how important it is what you're doing right now, being a part of this conversation what we talk about here, what we engage with you about here is something that is not talked about enough. We don't understand just how much the Communist Party of China and what happens in China affects the entire world. And if you don't realize that by now, considering the fact that we're suffering this pandemic and various other things um, as a result of bad policies that the Communist Party of China has put into place, you know, you got to wake up and you're part of everyone waking up. So thank you for being here, guys. You mean the absolute world to us. We're so glad this is our favorite of all the channels we do and all the things we do. This is our absolute favorite. Thank you so much for being a part of it. We can't wait to see you next week. Don't forget to watch our videos. Oh, yeah. And In the description, please. Right. Yes. I'm also I'm really not going to cut myself off this time. I'm going to try. I'm going to count down to five and I won't cut myself off. Jazz Jackrabbit. Five, well, five. Yeah, Jazz Jackrabbit was awesome. <laughs>